This episode of Uzo Talk is brought to you by Kingsford Smith Transport. Have a group that needs transporting? KST has you covered with their fleet of professionally maintained buses and coaches, catering from 9 to 57 passengers and driven by experienced drivers. Visit kstbuses.com.au to talk to the team and make your booking. Kingsford Smith Transport, proud sponsors of the Uzo Talk podcast. There's no Uzo Talk without a bottle of Uzo, which is why we love the Greek Provador. Get a real taste of the very best produce that Greece has to offer. From olive oils and delicious artisan sweets to unique spirits, earthy herbs and memorable wines. Visit thegreekprovador.com.au to see their amazing range. The Greek Provador, proud sponsors of the Uzo Talk podcast. Sound is... Nick Athanasiou, I can barely see you over this mound of bottles, mate. What is going on today? Well, China's got the Great War. We've got the Great Greek War, mate. Look at that. <laughs> no? Nobody can see what's going on here, but there is how many bottles of Uzo here? There's got to be at least 20 or so, surely. 12, I think I counted. <laughs> okay. 12. <laughs> I'm overdoing it already. <laughs> We've only had a couple of shots already. But yeah, look, we are going to dedicate an episode to Uzo. After how many episodes? It's nearly 60 episodes. Finally. And we're dedicating an episode to it, finally. I reckon they're all saying Epi Devils in that fucking time. You call Uzo talk and you haven't done one episode on Uzo yet. I know. We've ignored Uzo for most episodes lately because we've been drinking Tsipuro or vodka or gin or something like that. We're going back to our roots now, aren't we? We are. We're back, mate. And we've got a great range of uh, Uzos as well. So We do. Uh, we've got a lot to get through. I can't wait to get started. I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> well, should I'm we do worried. a couple of disclaimers? <sighs> yeah, okay, go. Go for it. You uh, start. Drink responsibly. Is yes. that what Nick Giannopoulos used to tell us? He did. We'll cut that in here when Nick, when Nick Giannopoulos says yeah. drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. <laughs> and there might be a bit of swearing in this one. There might be. And a lot of gibbering. And, and it'll progressively get worse, as uh, most of you will imagine, given how much alcohol is on the table and how much we're planning to drink. Because we're going to try virtually everything on this table. But it goes a little bit deeper than that. Because as messy as this is... It's about to get messier because if anyone's been with us since season one, they'll remember very early on we did an episode on Greek barbecues and Greek barbecue culture. And on that episode, we had two buff heads <laughs> who, uh, who have gone down in infamy with that episode. I mean, that whole episode's gone down in infamy, really. It's the, it's the loosest we've been on this program. So, I mean, if you haven't heard it yet, Go back, do yourself a favor, and listen to it because it's a brilliant record of how far we've come. We don't drink anywhere near as much now, do we, Nick? No, not at all. But look, it, it might change. You know, if we do it once a year, then I think it's a good tradition. We have to keep Very it up. Good. Well, without any further ado, let me uh, reintroduce you to the buffets I was just mentioning. Number one, Foti Papoulis. Welcome back, mate. Thanks for inviting me. Um, it's been, what, 50... 53 episodes since I was last on, so... Um, <laughs> but who's counting, right? Yeah, look, I'm not. Look, who's counting? Look, you know, I'm glad I got the call up again, um, and especially for this uh, this uh, episode uh, on Uzo. I'm very close to my heart with the alcohol, and um, That's yeah, why you're I, here. I, I can't wait to go on this journey. Mate, we couldn't afford a better person than you, because you're my go-to guy for whiskeys. Yeah. Know? I ask you, what do you think, and you go on for the next hour. Look, oh, and level of detail. So I'm expecting the same here with Uzo. Look, I'll try my best. Look, I, I've been to a lot of uh, the single malt whiskies all, all throughout the world, and I like to take a few journeys. And um, I haven't been on the Greece journey, so we're about to take that take the flight today. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> all right. Well, again, welcome again, Forty. Great to have you back. And also, when it comes to this kind of stuff, whether it's Uzo or barbecues or whatever the case is, I mean, very similar to Forty, really. But we can't do episodes without my cousin Steve Stavros Kazilieris. Welcome back to Uzo Talk, mate. Thank you, boys. Uh, it's been fifty-something episodes, and you haven't invited me or Forty back once. He actually mentioned that to me before we walked in, yeah. and uh, you waited for the next R-rated episode to bring it back. Yeah, you just I don't know if I'm to... disappointed or <laughs> you should be proud in the mate. person I am. Maybe it took us that long to recover, Tom. What do you reckon? <laughs> I, th I think it's more that, really. <laughs> Honestly. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy to, hear, to be here and uh, the food's awesome and I can't wait to taste test yeah. everything. And, and just for reference as well, the reason why these boys are here is because in reality, while Nick and I have been doing Uzo Talk the way we have, 
these guys, and you know, together and separately, we've all done a different version, like a proto version of Uzo Talk independently. Stephen, you and I have been doing the family barbecue at Easter and Christmas for many years, and that's where this really sort of started for you and I. You guys are, are, are pretty similar in that respect. Yeah, I yeah mean, we are. We're, but we don't. We actually do it on the on the touch footy field or the Oz Tag field. That's right. right. The enemies are coming at us. We're defending, and Aussie uh, Footy's talking about Uzo. And I go, hey, hang on, you, you got him. I got him. What are you doing? <laughs> Have another Uzo. Well, I think we're, what was our halftime remedy? Instead of uh, paint away or um, Voltaire, and we would have a shot of tip it on. Yes, and that worked. It of course, worked. it worked. Yeah. And after three games in a day, you know, at halftime, and everyone's looking at me, I go, try this, try this, <laughs> and all of a sudden, everyone has blinders. Okay, so yeah. a bit of context. But literally blinders, right? <laughs> we did. It was the World Cup. Yeah, we had to win our last game. It was the third day. We planned like six games. We're all sore. We're all busted, and uh, we had to win our last game against Ireland. And we think we're all putting our DP on, doing our stretches. <laughs> Forty walks up with an esky. He with goes, the Greek DP. I've got a secret weapon. <laughs> Opens it up, goes, just have a shot at this. And it worked. We, it, we was, it, it was actually, the, the drop was Or DB from Archie Rose. And it was actually mm. Sipiro with hints of honey. So it's called Or DB. Very and, interesting. Um, it was awesome, especially or de, in winter. Or beat them. Yeah. Yeah. So we, uh, we actually had to get a draw. Or DP. <laughs> I think we had to get a draw or a win to get through, and I think it was a six or draw. Did you get sent off in that game that put us under pressure? No, you did. Me? No, I was defending, <laughs> mate. I was defending. No, I got called for bombing that dropping the ball over the line. That's it. I and remember I, and that. I blew up. <laughs> <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> Uh, the insults have started early. Very good. No, that was to the ref. Out oh, of the ref. <laughs> I didn't drop it. I know the ref too. Yeah. Actually, you used to be a referee, didn't you? Yeah, I was. Um... Don't underplay it. You were a pretty good referee too, and you went. You, you were refereeing like lower. Yeah, grade then games. I worked out what Uzo was. I turned eighteen. I worked out what Uzo was, <laughs> and then my life just went downhill. In a positive way, though. Those downhill moments have been. The greatest moments of my life. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> like we said, what, how do we know that the Suvla's ready or how do we know if the uh, Arnie's uh, ready? We're fucking when it blind. starts looking blurry. <laughs> when it starts looking blurry, you know you've drunk enough and it's done. Fantastic. <laughs> Mate, downhill's the best. Think of the billy cart going downhill. That's High speed. That's where you want no to be. No brakes. 100%. It's been a ride. It's been a ride. Classic. <laughs> Love it. Well, okay, so a fantastic start. Let's do it justice. Let's uh, do the honours, Nick. What do you reckon? Let's have a drink. Beautiful. Let's do it. Stevie Yamas. Cheers, boy. This. Yes. Welcome yes, back, gents. Yes. Thank Thank you. You. All right. Thank you. Long overdue. Yes. Palate cleanser of Tsipuro to get us kicked off. So we covered our sure. five senses there, did we, Tom? I think What's we did. That? We covered our five we have. senses. We have. We've eaten. We've eaten courtesy of Meet the Greek today, haven't we? We have, mate. What a champ. Uh, Pete Mujos and the team down there, they are. Uh, Last minute, they brought us an amazing spread of food. So what do we got, boys? We've got prawns, we've got octopus. There's mussels in there. Suvli, mussels. There's lamb. Salmon. Lamb. Crab. Don't, 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 <laughs> forget prawn. Oh. don't forget the halloumi cheese. The halloumi yeah. cheese. Yeah. Two, three respect, versions of halloumi cheese. Respect to our brothers yeah. and sisters listening. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Oh, that, that, is that what you're surrounded with, halloumi? Oh, you're from Cyprus. I've heard about that. <laughs> and who ate all the chips? Well, uh, they got that's moved. <laughs> that wasn't <laughs> my head. <laughs> uh, Somehow they've moved to me now. So. <laughs> anyway, but look, uh, Pete Mujos, Meet the Greek People, fantastic, awesome restaurant. If you're in Brighton, check it out. And also, it has to be said that the majority of the bottles on this table have come from the Greek Provident, or haven't they? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we definitely got a few in there in the mix. Uh, Cretan 35 Distillery, uh, the Lazarus, they're in there as well. I think to warm us up, we actually had the Sipiro. The yes, Sipiro we did. I should say, it's the Arv. The 35N Sick with the R, which uh, has gone down a treat. Well, we're warmed up now. So, mm. guys, meet the Greek. Thank you very much. Greek Provador, as always, thank you very much for supplying us with alcohol. And there's a lot more alcohol on the table, as we've mentioned already. But how do we start this off now? <laughs> Where the fuck do we start? <laughs> well, originally it was meant to be like a taste test. Is that what we're going to do? That was never going to work. 
<laughs> we are going to taste it, but it won't be as... We're not going to keep scores or anything, are we? No. No, no. Can we do, do like a teaspoon of everything? Or? A teaspoon. Just a quick splash of everything, let's say. Where do we want to start? Well, I think Forty had a good idea. Mm. So how good is Forty's pack, by the way? He's done a lot of work on this. There's a spreadsheet happening of uh, with, with notes of... <laughs> I love my spreadsheets, by the way, if you know oh, me. Oh, good. Uh, I was going to say, did, did you do the spreadsheet or did you get one of your juniors to do it? Ah, uh, look, I've got, I had one junior holding the mouse. The yep. size of my mouse is massive. Yeah, it's a rat. Um, it's not a mouse, it's a rat. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so uh, I had one junior sort of uh, collecting all the data <laughs> and one inputting and I was just uh, waving the wand. Do this, do that, directing. <laughs> You're all the love it. Sign That's of a good it. manager. <laughs> no, all right, it's well, a great pack. Well, I think, I think your idea though was that we would go with the lowest level of alcohol first. And yes. work our way up. Okay, so which one is that? Acropolis. Okay, I think that's it. I think this is the order, Tom. So That's the order. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, well, let me pour then. So, a bottle of Acropolis. And while we're doing that, Stephen, give me your uh, your shot glass here. So, what have we got? Bottle of Acropolis. Who makes Acropolis? Is it? Well, um, after a fair bit of research, I was dumbfounded. You'd think Acropolis, the name Acropolis, would be... Uh, Associated with greatness? <laughs> yes, a three thousand year old recipe, you'd say. Plus, but Some uh, back alley in Athens or something. Yeah, but... look, even 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 an island, you know, yeah, maybe there's yeah. there's different forms of Acropolis. Sure, not an <laughs> island. Uh, <laughs> Stephen is notioning his own nuts. <laughs> this is shit. I don't want to um, this. waste my time. After, <laughs> well, this is a waste of time trying to dig information out on the history. Of this. <laughs> well, let's try. Okay, who's what, tried it? So well, there's a meet. theme here. There's a, I've tried it. Look, let's try it before we give information okay, out. That, all right, so I've just shot it, and it's yeah, it's pretty ordinary. If we're honest, okay. This is the reason why I stopped oh, drinking ouzo yeah. as a kid. Yeah, See, but it's something like that. That's we, the thing. Like, when I turned eighteen, the only ouzo that you could get if you went out into a bar was yeah, uh, Crocodiles. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then you started getting a bit older and then yeah. the importers started getting a bit better, started bringing all these yeah. other stuff in and then we started appreciating it more. But when you're 18 doing shots of this shit, yeah. this PTSD sets in and yeah. it takes you four or five years to shake it off. <laughs> exactly. You so know, I think 100%. that's why I never used to drink Uzo. And I was stunned for until, I think, nearly before I met you, sort of. Mm -hmm. Around then, then I started getting appreciating Uzo again. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> I decided to fucking start a podcast yeah, on it. Yeah, I fucked a podcast on this. Wait, did you, did you, when you started this podcast, did you actually like Uzo? I was on the fence. Yeah. I like any alcohol. That's probably why the reason why I drank it. Okay. But I had remnants of drinking Acropolis. 18-year-old, me and my mates in the car park, jugging this down, you know, because you don't want to pay for drinks when you walk in. It was cheap as shit. Or did you steal it from your dad's? No, dad had it as well. Yeah. yeah, there's a reason why dad had it there, because they probably didn't drink it either. So all the good stuff was gone. It was well, the funny left. thing is, though, I've just had that splash of it there. Yeah. And fair income, that's more bitter than most tipura that we've that we've had in the last few months. It's yeah. making me sick. Yeah. It's got, it's, it's, it's <laughs> it's got a very bitter finish. It does have. Yeah. A, are you, yeah. Now that you say that, I wouldn't have said it. If it I, does. It, it takes it. me back to that. I'm actually starting to feel it now. Oh, in my stomach again. Yeah. It's, Being in the back of a car drinking this as an 18 year old. What were you doing in the back of the car, Nick? <laughs> Uh, yeah, by yourself wanna... or <laughs> <laughs> he was barbecuing alone. Barbecuing alone. <laughs> <laughs> me and the me and the boys. <laughs> so well, you're before, barbecuing before friends. we move on, one, 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 on Fosters, yeah. we did say that uh, yeah. Fosters are so the. Well, I haven't haven't said that yet. Yeah. So leading up to it, but we're leading up. Can to I just it. finish of what I think this tastes like? Oh, so you know when you eat jelly beans, mm. yep, and you leave which ones do you leave out? The, the white ones, the licorice the white ones. ones. The, white the black ones. ones. Mm. Well, the black one, what's, the, what are the, the white black ones? The black ones, yeah. licorice. Yeah. yeah. This tastes like the licorice. Actually, I shouldn't insult the jelly bean. I was going to yeah. say. That's the black nice. jelly bean. No, the jelly bean's beautiful. <laughs> the black jelly bean, yeah. It's, well, this is just shit. This <laughs> is <laughs> it's just, it's, don't even talk about it. Just shit. Okay, just you know shit. there's no connection with licorice and aniseed? Isn't there? No. No, it's star anise. Yeah, yeah it? star anise. Yeah, but there's no, even though they taste similar, there's no connection. No. There you go. So apparently licorice is a, a root of a plant and anise mm. is the fruit of a herb. And uh, anise, and, they're not related apparently. They're different. Anise is different. There yep. you go. So similar Even though they taste mm. the same, everyone refers it to it. So we're doing it, uh, not doing anise justice, the anise fruit plant justice. It's, it's interesting because fennel, and, and that's, yeah. a, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's synonymous with yeah. you know, licorice. And so the fennel seeds used in a lot of these oozos we're going to taste as part mm. of the spices. So Okay. So what did you have on your fact sheet? Yeah, so we okay, drum roll. Well, Where's the origin? Okay, so, so the origin's, funny enough, Australian. 
but the description is basically crafted by a renowned Greek distillery, and the distiller in Australia is Foster's. I don't know about <laughs> Foster's. The and best. that's. Do you drink Foster's? No, I'm just saying, like, yeah. Foster's, the Greek That's distillery. So is there a common theme here? You know, we don't drink Foster's here, and we've got this stuff. We it's a marketing ploy. Greeks it's don't drink that. They're trying to trick us, mate. <laughs> They're just trying to trick us. And, and isn't, isn't, isn't Crown Lager relabeled Foster's? I thought that uh, was VB. That was the crown of the VB. Was it? Is okay. It? Yeah, so VB barrel, the top bit is called the crown, and the crown lager. Uh, so... Hmm. Yeah. Fair enough. I didn't know there that. You right, there you go. Write that one so, down. Look, okay, so this oh. one, yeah, look, uh, Cropolis now. Yeah. I want to move on from it. Not, <laughs> not good memories. Let's just move on. 37%. Don't <laughs> <Don't laughs> think I was going to say that. Do you like when you ever go to, have you ever been overseas anywhere in Europe and they uh, ask you where you're from? I'm from Australia. <laughs> and they go, oh, we've got Fosters. You drink Fosters. Fosters, you do Fosters. It's in America. Mate, what the fuck is Foster's? I've yeah. never had a Foster in my life. <laughs> Camel's Pits. Yeah. yeah. Mate, I but remember they, back they in the day. They give it to you in Europe. Yeah. Back in the day, but we used to have Foster's in the fridge. In the cans? In the cans. Oh, really? That was, but this was like in the, I'd say, late 80s, early 90s. Yeah. Like, with KB. Yeah. KB. Yeah. KB. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Dan Murphy's bought out KB. Did they? As Did a promotion. They? I bought a, I bought a wow. slab of KB just before COVID. Yeah. It's just tasted like rebranded Tui's. <laughs> it was just re- it was recanned Tui's. That's what yeah. it was. Uh, well, but I, it tasted different because it was in a different can, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, I tried Foster's recently. I think yeah. it might have been it might have been in Qatar when I went to the World Cup, and it actually tasted all right. Distilled, uh, yeah, I actually you know brewed it's overseas. Not that bad. Yeah. Okay. So the so the European version tastes a lot better than the Australian version ever did. Yeah. And so they still they still um, distribute it in in Europe. So, so you find it on the tap. So moral of the story is overseas, Foster's is okay. Yeah. But they can't make beer beer or was all worse shit in Australia. <laughs> no. You know, it's like anything in Australia. We get all the dregs. All our quality <laughs> produce, fish, you know, lobster all goes to Japan, our red wine goes overseas. We get the beef, the everything, yeah. Beef. Yeah. True. Could be a common thing. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, less said the better about that one. Right. We we should move on Suzo, <laughs> yep, put him to the side. Thanks yes. for coming. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What's next? <laughs> All right. All right. Um, Forty. Do us the honors. So mate. It's thirty-seven percent alcohol would be another. It's called Zeus Uzo. Mm-hmm. And okay. So this is uh, yeah. Well, go on. Forty. It's got a lot of awards on it. <laughs> it's one. It's won a couple of golds, a silver, and a bronze. And if anyone knows the bottle itself, mm-hmm. uh, would recognise the actual metal types because they're synonymous with Australian medals, mm. which means. That the two lowest alcohol percentages that we're trying first up are from Australia. Mm, so, okay. um, Nick, um, I think you mentioned a bit earlier. You sort of knew a bit of the history of of this one. Yeah. So it was a uh, well, it's an improvement. Yeah. It was the Stravakoulis family. Yeah. Stravakoulis family from Victoria. They got a distillery called Edge Mill Group. And uh, yeah, so apparently the parents came out in 1961 started a, would you believe, a milk bar. And then 10 years later, they got into alcohol and distillery and I think the sons took over and uh, they've made the Zeus Uzo with a full of gold label, gold and silver awards and there's a bronze in there as well. Uh, have you guys tried it yet? Should we try it? I'll let you guys try it first. Well, like yeah. I said, it's an improvement on the, on the last one. Yeah. And Stephen, what do you reckon, mate? You know what? There's, what is it? There's three of, I guess, the big commercial Uzo brands that are around. Mm-hmm. This is a level up from Acropolis. It's actually quite smooth. There's not much complexity to the flavors, though. It's, mm. it's so what, what, are you, what, what are you tasting at the back of the palate? I, I've now, I think I know well, what I'm tasting. Yeah, yeah. Almond. Another sip, you mate. I'm tasting okay. almond, like a like an almond flavor. Really? On the palate, yeah. Mm. If you hadn't said that, I wouldn't have. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have picked it. But yeah. Now that you mentioned it, you're right. I'm here in the Tom here. It's that. It's that. You know the the um what they put in it's cakes. Like that nutty. Mm. That nutty type, the finish tastes like almond. The palate tastes a lot smoother. It's mm. licorice though, but it's nowhere near as strong as the black jelly bean we had earlier. Look, and even even the, just the smell of it, just on the nose, mm. it's got that you can smell the anise. It's actually it's it's actually quite strong yeah. on the nose. Yeah. Does this change? Does this go milky with a bit of water? When it comes to Australian-made Uzo brands, Uzo, <laughs> that's the that's <laughs> the uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it, it didn't. It didn't go milky. Okay. It didn't go. You milky. know why it does? You yeah. know why it does go cloudy? Why is that? Apparently, uh, the anise extract uh, in Uzo mm. uh, is soluble with alcohol. Apparently, 
Okay. But if you put water in, it goes, it's not soluble with water. That's why it goes cloudy. Okay, there you go. So that means there's probably not too much anise in there. That's probably why I like it. Mm. It's actually very spirity, mm. not too much anise in there. I'm actually quietly a bit of a fan with this. It's not too bad. A bit more gin like? It is. A bit more like a fav- gin vodka gin. Um, yeah. That's where I was going uh, just yeah. before. Most of the uzos that, they, that get made here, they lack something very distinct that most uzos that, you know, usually have from Greece. And a lot of the ones that are made here sort of move towards more of a gin and, and tend to have a little bit more of a botanical taste to it. This one doesn't have any sort of botanicals in it that I can, you know, that I can sort of figure out mm. or distinguish. But It is a bit bland, mm. but yeah, you're right. As a it? basic ouzo, like you'd be, you'd be okay to drink that. Yeah. Can I try some more? Yeah, you try only, some more. only because... Are you sure? There's a lot of bottles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, gonna, I'm just, just... Give me this a hint. Is, this this is could be of, dangerous. This is two of 28. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am, I am some not driving home, so we'll be Here we fine. go. He's smelling it. He's not driving home, Sip. everyone. Plan B. We've all got taxis and Ubers. I like right. it when he tastes, he looks at the ceiling. And yeah. I'm just trying to... Yeah, I'm, his lips. He's asking God for advice. There's a flavour there that I'm not familiar with. Yeah. And I've done my research. And does anyone know what uh, cardamom is? Yes. 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 Cardamom, yeah. I can't well, taste it in there. No, used in a lot of uh, cakes, curries... Chai, uh, chai tea. Okay. Very That's popular in India and um, They the add it to the Zoga lot now as well in really? some places. Yeah. Very, okay. very popular. So a lot of wuzo, through my research mm. on what we, what's coming up, is using that within their spices. Mm. Okay. Okay. And um, there's also hamomili in one of them as well. Really? So if they use, yeah, it's interesting. Like well, Cardamom and aniseed go very well together. You, mm. You'll see it in a lot of um, cuisine and sweets too in the Middle East. India okay. or the Caucasus region. I've probably like tried that. it and I don't know yeah. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> they look the like little taste olive it. Po- pods. Yeah, little tiny olive, yeah, olive okay. pods. You... The second you taste it, you'll be like, ah, okay, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> but mate, kudos to you for going in for a second try. It means I actually like it. Yeah, no, it's just, going I would not. I'm, that's I'm not offended by it at all. No, no, no look, it wasn't bad. It's and and, okay. and on the way here, I was uh, at my dad's, and he said to me, "Oh, I've got, I've actually got two bottles of that Zeus one." And I went, "Where'd you get it from?" He goes, "It was on special at Audi <laughs> five years ago." <laughs> oh, so, mate, it must be vintage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It didn't have any medals on it either. <laughs> that's aged. <laughs> it's called, it's Your dad's aged, aged it <laughs> unintentionally. <laughs> that's it. Aged in a glass bottle. That's it. All right, stuff, so all right, so that's a, that's a tick of approval for for Zeus there. Uh, so I've got a, it's got a tick of approval. I'm yeah, not like chasing it, but if that was served to me, I went to someone's house or even went to a restaurant, a Greek restaurant, they serve that. You'd be happy. One complaint. I should have tried the second one with a bit of ice because it changes the profile. Maybe you can oh, do that with this next one. one. We'll do the I next one. A <laughs> dash of water. All right, so Actually, should we move it along? Yeah, I was going to share some stats with you, but um, you've got stats on that one, do you? No, no. I was going to say um, before we start. I think there's roughly 300 ouzo distilleries in Greece. There's over 600 types of bottles. That's the that's the licensed ones. Okay, yeah, there you the, go. Yeah, that's a, that's a very now good you're talking. talking. That's a great point. So we'll never know. So it's that's the established businesses. Minimum uh, three hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what we're saying? Minimum three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. Yeah, well, so, okay. just on that point. So during uh, well, actually last week we received an email, Nick, from a, a gentleman here in Sydney called uh, Artis Pappas, who's a real estate agent here, oh, yeah. and he was very kind uh, in uh, oh, very complimentary that. of our of our mm-hmm. podcast. So Artis, thank you, thank you very much for the email, mate. Uh, he actually dropped us off a bottle of homemade sipuro mm-hmm. from Thessaly. Really? That his mother makes. And in true... Um, Bravo de Ari. In true... Uh, <laughs> That's respect, right? In there. true That's real respect. sipuro fashion, yep. he's brought it over in a, in a secondhand Pepsi bottle. Oh, mate. He's a, <laughs> so he's a, we're going to try that. <laughs> You're joking. No, he's seriously. A man. It, it, was it a glass back. bottle or p- plastic? No, 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 plastic. Oh, it's got to be plastic. back to our first episode, Tom. Wow. It does. Well, look, the plastic bottles just hit a little bit different. <laughs> anyway, Artie, we're going to try that one, mate. Thank you. We'll uh, we'll use that in the, ne- in the next couple of episodes, I reckon. Yeah, and I think, uh, is it Thessaly credited with having, making, distilling the first Uzo? Mm, I thought I read I'm not that sure, somewhere. actually. No, that's I think that's usually that, your domain. I think that goes back Dirnavos. to... Where's Dirnavos? Or is it it's south? where Katsaros is from. The Katsaros yes, distillery. That's right. yeah. yeah, that's him. They're the oldest distillery in the world. Gatsarosa. Okay. Gatsarosa is the, uh, they are the family that opened the oldest distillery in the world. Oh, there you go. And Not in Greece, in the world. In the world. Wow. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Massive, right? Wow. Okay. I think it was so uh, 1856. Yeah. Really? 
Fantastic. Okay. Brilliant. Oh, it's on the it's on the box. So it's on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, it's on the, you can I'm see just reading it. the box. Just, <laughs> just just over your right shoulder. Yeah. He hasn't yeah. done research. Yeah. Bullshit. He hasn't I mean, done his own. I, I look at the sticker and I know a Greek produced that sticker, so yeah. it's, it's you either take it with a grain of salt. It's <laughs> true or it's not. It's, it's, got the, I don't fucking it's got the Greek know. map on it, so yeah, yeah you could it must it. be Greek. <laughs> See that's a beautiful bottle actually. It, it is, is a nice bottle. So. Fantastic. Okay. Mate, that is awesome. But look it's a good segue to mm. the next one that we're gonna drink. Mm. Called Tell us, Nick. Uzo twelve. Uh, yes. Classic. So the origins of this comes all the way back from uh, the Kaloyanis brothers, a couple of brothers in Constantinople. In 1880, they well, produced wow. the Good Johns. This amazing, yeah, yeah. yeah, the Good Johns. This yeah, amazing did, Uzo. Well, Nick, sorry to interrupt. Sure. Just one thing I'm, I'm finding with my research is that late 1800s, between 1850 to, to the 1900s, there was a massive uplift in Uzo production, and a lot of the good stuff comes from that era. Why do you think that is? Because of the independence, war of independence. I think it was. It would have a lot been of them. Yeah. Some came from Russia, some came from Turkey, and they've learned oh, all these we'll, we'll techniques. We'll get to the Odessa one. Yeah. <laughs> the independence, they were, yeah. it's freedom. And Definitely. And a lot of them did say that. There was a big resurgence because of the independence day. We're independent, we're independent we want to get fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> you've, got to, you've, got to, you've got to also understand during that time that Greece was ruled by monarchy. That monarchy was related to every other monarchy in Europe, and trade started. And still are. Greece was now put on, you know, the, the international map. Good Back point. then, what Europe was, mm-hmm. Europe was the world. Good So point. when Greece went on to the, the international trade route with all their other cousins throughout Europe, mm. that's when things started kicking off and money started coming in. Beautiful. Who bring is this bloke? Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Did we bring him back to or is this or is this uh, from the village? Kind of city or stuff <laughs> I'm Greek, I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good point. Remind me, ask me later where the word Uzo came from. There's a bit of a connection to what oh, you just that said. That I don't know. Mm. I didn't know either. Nick so is going to teach us. In yeah. fact, you know what? I'm just going to read it. Okay. I didn't memorise it. But, so. but are we going to finish off the... Uh... Yeah, so back yeah, to yeah, Uzo yeah, 12. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where do we go? <laughs> let's try yeah, it. Anyway. So, all right, let's have a sip first. Yep, I know that taste. I know that tastes very well. Because that, my friend, is the taste Ooh. of... My teen years. <laughs> okay. It wasn't, uh, yeah, it wasn't Acropolis or Barbares or anything like that. It was usually this. Mm. And let me tell you, from my end, I mean, that's a lot sweeter than anything that we've tried so far, mm. in, in my opinion. Definitely. T- to me, it, it tastes a lot like Sambuca. It's very, it's, it's very liqueurish. Yeah, it's a syrup yeah, so almost. A, you wouldn't call it a spirit. It's really, I think it's more of a liqueur. A yeah. or something. Yeah. I think there's a, there's a clean fennel taste, mm. a licorice taste in it. Mm. It's just pure. It is it is strong mm. on that. It's beautiful. Yeah. Look, mate, I'm actually enjoying that too. Mm. And the good thing is, this what you're tasting now apparently hasn't changed since 1880. Wow. They've been really strict with the recipe and they've kept it the same. This is how it would have tasted like in Constantinople days in 1880. Mm. And you know why they call it Uzo 12? Uh, you told me this the other day. This is very interesting. Yeah, so they had all the barrels there, and people would particularly go up to barrel 12 because that had the best tasting Uzo. Mm-hmm. So 12, Uzo 12, the name stuck. They just stuck with making shit coming out of barrel 12. <laughs> yeah, right. Interesting. <laughs> Quite interesting. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, I didn't mind that. Yeah, well, that. well, the recipe yeah, and the ingredients on. in there is it, it's double distilled grape, mm. um, alcohol with anise. Yep. Cardamom, mm. which I'm going to go and research. Uh, cinnamon, coriander, which I'm guessing is the seeds, mm. and nutmeg. Okay. They're the ingredients. So it's, it, it's actually quite like. unique because there's there's actually a bit, bit in it. I taste the cinnamon bit. That's a bit I like. Sounds like a Christmas cake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and sweetness. It's actually sweet. Yeah, it is sweet. It is. I it think it might be one of the sweetest ones we'll have tonight. So double distilled. I think I noticed you had that on your sheet. Yes. So what's wrong with distilling it once? Because Why do they do it, it twice? We reduces the alcohol content, so we've got to get down to. So when you distill something, mm-hmm. it's uh, so you get alcohol at about one hundred percent. Okay, so when you make stuff, yep. you've got fruit, yep. you crush it, yep, ferments, yep, fermentation goes into distill. So what happens is so you heat a, it a lot. Is that to the get origins, rid of the water out of it? The orange, origins out of Uzo, for yeah. example, are everyone's making wine. Yeah, so they actually produce wine wine and the extract out of the wine is this alcohol which is um like what they make out of tipitor okay right and it uh, yes. and it's at a hundred percent so what they do is they distill it 
So you distill it and you do it at portions okay. and it could get you down to 60% and you distill it again to get you down to that 40%. That's tolerable. Mm. I thought it was the other way around. I thought no. the more you distilled it, the stronger it got. Now you're filtering it. So you're basically filtering it and reducing it. So because so, when you distill it, it's heat. So the water evaporates. So you've got less, more alcohol there. So if you distill it twice... But More it's the evaporated part that you're, that you're drinking. That's not right. What's left. It oh, also depends right. in the quality of the alcohol because it's. Sorry, I'm, I'm always yeah. talking the table here. Right. I like talking with my hands, Greek. <laughs> the editor's going to get this shit. That's, That's it. it. <laughs> Fuck. Nah, fucking. <laughs> Thanks, boys. So, <laughs> oh, I lost my drum roll. I lost my train of thought. Yeah. Yeah. So, so distilling. Distilling. Yeah. So, distilling. So, so distilling also is filtering. Okay, so you're actually okay. filtering the alcohol. And the filtering process is very important because it purifies that alcohol. So the alcohol makes a big difference in the f- in, in the quality of it. Mm. So it depends what you're... It, I've, I've heard carbon filtering. So you use carbon to filter it or these different type of filtering. And right. if you can get better better quality alcohol, you get a better quality end product. Mm. But, okay. yeah. And look, let's be honest as well. When it comes to alcohol, the reason why it exists, aside from the fact that everyone wants to... you know, In history, everyone wanted to get fucked up, mm-hmm. right? There was a real practical use to it in the sense that it was actually cleaner to be drinking things like beer or spirits than it was to be actually drinking water. Yeah, yeah. true. So there's a real practical sense to it. You're better off... I mean, the equivalent of what some people were drinking was like pond water back in the days, mm. right? So you're better off... I mean, the Egyptians well, in particular were drinking beer more than water. Yeah, and well, the Nile and sewage and mm-hmm. everything else, it's actually cleaner to drink alcohol. Mm. Well, well, cheers to that. that. <laughs> cheers to that. Okay. Let's finish off this as a 12. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Uzo 12. Got Yanni's brothers. Well, look, I mean, that's, a, that's another them? good standard Uzo that you can mm. sort of fall back on. Mm-hmm. It's not our favourite by, by any means. You and I have mm. spoken about it yeah. know, many times. But you'll drink it. It's good. Oh, look, I'm calling it a six and a half, maybe a seven. Mm. I don't mind it. Are we putting a rating system, are we now? We or? don't have to, but <laughs> we can mix it up. We can do whatever you want today. And Campari Group, so they mm. own it now. So it's actually Italian now. Am I being racist by um, <laughs> probably choosing not to drink it because they've sold themselves out to foreigners? It's mm. racist, eh? Patriotic. Actually, okay. Look, am I upset by the fact that they sold out to Cam- Campari Group? If you don't drink it, I'd say yes. <laughs> but said. but on the flip side is, do you know it's probably the most well-known, popular, and most distilled uzo in the world. So it's got it's distilled. Production is in 14 manufacturing plants, mm. four of which are located in Italy, one in Greece, one in Scotland, which mm. is pretty big, sure. and one in Ukraine, which I don't know if it exists yeah, at the moment, yeah. I in, in, in the US. So, yeah. um, I don't do Italian. But you're, pro- you're probably right, though. It, it is probably the most <laughs> visible uzo that you can get, isn't it? Yeah. Look, you, look at they, the, you read the history of it, and it's yeah. absolutely beautiful. You know, yeah. Originally from Constantinople, they came to Athens in 1919, which yeah. is, you know, during the... Yeah, the, um, just before, great, yeah, the war. Just, the, you know, this is, a, this is a time in, um, a very dark time in, in Greece's history. Definitely. All the immigrants, well, actually we shouldn't even call them immigrants, a lot of Greeks yeah, being Greeks. displaced from their from their homeland. Yeah, that's You it. know, and looking for new homes. And Pirea as well for people from Constantinople or, or people of Pondian background as well. Mm. Mm. Pirea is, um, even to this day, Pirea is, it wouldn't be the same if it wasn't for what these people left behind. Yeah, definitely not. And Uzo Lodica is probably a big part of yeah, that too. Yeah, brought that over. A lot of history. In that. So it's just a shame. It's a shame that it's not still within the family or, you yeah. know. Uh, yeah. But it's, it's very similar, I feel, to how I feel about feta. I mean, if any feta comes through the door at our place, unless it's Greek... It's yeah. not staying. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, I thought oh, you were going to blow, blow smoke up his ass and say, unless it's from <laughs> Ipirol. <laughs> it's, yeah. nah. Well, look, the it's Lonnie, not Ipirol, it's not worth keeping. Well, <laughs> well, look, you're not half wrong, really. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. I, I mean, we, you know, we are pretty militant about that in, in my family. It's like, mate, there's no such thing as Bulgarian feta or, feta or Danish feta. Australian or feta. No. It's just cheese. It's not feta. Yeah. It's something else. It's white cheese. You want feta, you get Lodoni or Ipirol or you know, whatever it is. So Nick, just one more back yeah. on the Uzo 12 before we go away from it. And this oh. is probably caters for the whole of Uzo. So what do you think the Italians or Campari actually bought it? What, what is the main question. purpose of Uzo? So what does Campari produce? What, what type of drink? When do, they have, when do they drink it? Well, it is an aperitif. Aperitif, yeah. So, yeah. so Uzo is the same. Mm, True. Okay. So I, I believe they bought it down that path because it's it's part of their part of their marketing business plan. What, what they yeah. are their DNA. 
Yeah. yeah. So it actually makes true, sense. Mm, Very true. good. But there's a lot of uh, alcoholic beverages that use anise as well. I always thought it was just ouzo. I think it's pronounced anise. Yeah, it's anise. It's anise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and the actual plant itself, it's star anise. It's it actually looks like a star. No. Not anus. No. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually from India. It's actually the, actual, the actual plant is actually ori- originated from there. Really? They use okay. it a lot in Asian cuisine in general, a lot in Indian cuisine, Southeast Asian, a lot, you know. It's, yeah, yeah. It's very versatile. Sambuca has it, Italian yes. Sambuca. Yep. Uh, French absinthe. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Absence. Ba- some bad times on that stuff. My God, I <laughs> hallucinogen. Yeah. It's a hallucinogen. <laughs> uh, Spanish anise de chinchon. C H I N C H O N. You made that up. <laughs> uh, I can't even read now. Uh, it sounded racist. It? Turkish and uh, Armenian raki. Can you read that? Yeah. What the? Lebanese, Egyptian, Syrian, Jordanian, Palestinian, and Israeli Arak. Arak. So that's like mm. their like their grappa or their their tipiro. Yep. Yeah. An Algerian anisette cristal. There you go. Cristal. Cristal. That's how it's spelled. <laughs> so it's not okay. crystal. It's yeah. cristal. I've only had how many shots have I had? <laughs> You're getting weak, mate. What's oh, going yeah. on? All right. Who's right. that 12? Oh, we've got a I'm only warming to, up, mate. What about a shout out to George Ciambus? Well, George Ciambus is... That's all he drinks. Mate, George Ciambus is an ex-South junior mm. from back in the 90s. He drinks this in the mornings in a tournament before we play. No joke. Sounds like a champion. And he's yeah. our best player. He he, means just to give him strength or he's, I don't know. has he got a problem? He's got bung knees. <laughs> no, no, so his knees, yeah, his he's, knees got, he's got, he's got, he's got a like cartilage. Mine. Pain his relief. Mm. Pain relief. That's, yeah. So the pain relief part, he taught me that. So yeah. George taught me. <laughs> when we were in pain, the last tournament, I, I rocked up the training. We didn't warm up because I was following the coach's rules. And my um, I taught my grade two calf at the beginning. <laughs> So I was coming back in that tournament, coming back, you know, rehabilitating, and I wasn't fit. I wasn't game match ready or anything, but I went to George. George, what do I need to do here? He just goes, mate, uzo, mate. Give the uzo. So no I'm like, Did you know that that's what, what he was going to say? Or were well, you expecting some Mr. Miyagi type thing well, to happen? Oh, <laughs> mate, I was hoping. Like, the guy's, the guy's a legend. The guy <laughs> plays. Yeah. You watch him play, and he just lifts. He's yeah. just a game yeah. Player doesn't match say player. much. Yeah. All action, hits yeah. holes, it's makes breaks. But you'd walk into his room at the World Cup. All action and shot glasses, right? Mate, you, we, I think we normally had pre drinks at his room. He's got a bottle of Uzo, no joke. Yeah. Warm up. And he goes, I have it in the mornings. Literally, he has it in the morning as he wakes up. What Never heard of it. Is his room like, you know, when you wake up from the, the, the in the hangover when they wake up the next morning and the room's all fucked up? Is that what his room <laughs> looks like? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I think, I think I think I think I was staying in the same place as you. Our rooms are all fucked up. Was, <laughs> yeah. Mate, what was I? I was I, had, I was uh, serving old fashions that yeah, through the oh, tournament. Was I was making trip. old fashions. <laughs> Oof, that's another story. Do you guys <laughs> actually play sport? <laughs> like, well, well, yeah. No, all you guys have spoken about is uh, this drinking. guy's drinking this, this guy's drinking that. I'm getting fucked up. Steve, getting they want a silver up. medal, mate. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Our rooms are fucked up. A hey, silver medal winners, mate. Like, Who'd you lose to? The Maoris. Home ground, Home ground advantage. advantage. Honestly, <laughs> we were running over the top of them. Yeah, what happened? We, we ran out of time. We, we literally. So you're down eight nil. Uh, we were down. Seven. I think it was four nil. Then we got four one, and then we one guy bombed the try the line. Another try. Why oh, is that when you dropped it over the line? Is that no, you? No, 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 that, that was the that was the World me. Cup. That was the uh, World Cup. I just got the try of the tournament. The World oh, Cup. Remember? Go. Can we go to the next? <laughs> box? How far out? <laughs> Here we go. Look, no. anything we mention about Oztag is, is purely just a <laughs> that fuck try. <laughs> that try. Yeah, mate. That's how many times I've heard about this try? Hey, who cheated the loudest though when I scored? I did. Yeah, I know I you did. You. I know you did. Yeah, I'll have you back. It was a two point try too, mid air anyway. dive. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so what's the okay. next cab off the rink? So we got Lazarus now. Oh, you do this, uh, Tom. We're going home. <laughs> yes, Corfu. Well, bom, bom, Stephen, bom. you've been to Lazarus as well, haven't you? When you, uh, when you were over there? No, I never went to Lazarus, actually. Didn't you? No. Oh, so we're going up a notch, boys. If it wasn't the beach or somewhere to shop, my missus wasn't interested. I think your missus may have gone there, there I think. Lazarus? Yeah. Kerkira. I would remember Lazarus and Kerkira. Mm, there you go. Well, Trust anyway, me. I've been, and it's a uh, yeah, fantastic distillery. They make a lot of good product. Now, where you, where's your glass? Is that it? There. Yeah. All right, I'll have a little bit of that one. Thank you very much. Have you had this one before? I don't think Just I have, actually. Bit. Actually, you know what? When I was in Corfu, mm. um, I did have some backyard shit that your cousin gave me. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking cousin? awesome. It was a uh, uh, Oh, wow. Jeez, oh, okay. Do you know he has a distillery underneath that shop? 
Does he really? He's got a proper... Oh, it, next time you go to his shop, uh, go downstairs. He's got a basement under there. He's got a stool. He's got everything. You're kidding. Yeah. That's getting a workout in a few weeks. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. So Lazarus, okay. On the right. palate, it smell, uh, On the nose, it smells like citrus to yes, me. Yes, it does. Mm. Yes, there is a citrus Recall. taste. Citrus smell smell that. And this is comes from confidence of our sponsor. Yeah, this one's from the Greek Providor. So, so thank you, Crystal. So, so that Lazarus Distillery. Mm. I've got the history on that. Two thousand and five, they started. Yeah. Yep. But they started as gin makers. Mm. Get getter. Mm-hmm. What's the, Kumquat fruit, yes, apparently is is which I think is what ah, I'm tasting here. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know is. what's fu- I was looking at that Lazarus brand. I'm like, where do I know it? And it's, it's on a every single bottle of Kumquat liqueur that mm. I have. Yes, yeah. So the well, um, they make it. Like from my research, they made the gin before the uzo. Mm. So they're actually a gin distiller beforehand. Well, as far as I can remember, they do make a lot of uh, the Kumquat liqueur, but also limoncello. And then the the uzo is a is just a byproduct of all of that stuff, yeah. and I got to say it's pretty good stuff. I can taste the the, the melon or fruity mm. type citrus yeah, Very fruity. through that. This is the so far this is the most complex one that we've had mm. because you do get a little bit more of that explosion of flavour. There's a more of a depth and there's something a little more it's, fresh. It's, about it's, it's, it's like one. robust and mellow mm. in that in that yeah. sense. Yeah, you got to drink water. You got to rinse your mouth out. Get rid of the uzo twelve out. Well, I like that one, and not mm. not because it's from Corfu. It's just a little more complex than the, than a lot of the. I ones think we've it's had. probably the first one that. Yeah, you're right. It's very um, complex. A lot of mm. flavors makes you start thinking. Fuck, what is that? What's that? What's mm. that? So it's not as bland. Mm. So based on my experience, I'd, actually, something with a higher alcohol content has got that innovative flavor. I'm actually pretty impressed. I'll go out and get that one again. That is, it, it takes you on a yeah, journey. It is quality. Well, that one, you go straight through the Greek Providor and they'll give it. They'll send it yeah. right to your door. Exactly. Awesome. It's, it's good that you said that as well. You didn't know that. That was good. Yeah, mm. they, uh, they only bring quality stuff out. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if someone goes over or Crystal herself goes over and tries everything. It's as good an excuse as any. To That'd be a great job. You, if, you really, uh, if you really want to enjoy this, we'll just put a couple of drops of water in it and it's... Even better? It's even better. It up. You, you can... <laughs> doing that for Mate, sure. I, I, just, I I'm talking it about just a few it, drops, just a couple drops of water. It doesn't have to be much. Or you can put four I'm, ice I'm cubes gonna, in I'm going to put a... a, a uh, Looks like a, a pair of uh, a yeah. pair of grapes in there. A pair of uh, ashithka. Are you actually putting more? Okay, settle down. <laughs> What'd so. you call it? Ashithka. That's a Cypriot. <laughs> For what? Achidia. So, yeah. Chef yeah. Delius. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you think of that Enjoy one. Enjoy it. Yeah, a bit of water or a bit of ice. Just, yeah. uh, okay, yeah. Let me just let it, let it, let it cloud up let a bit. Let it sit. Yeah. Let the clouding part. That means there's a lot of NEC in there. So that's yeah. the problem. We're drinking each uzo, but... You're getting a different experience whether you drink it neat, bit of water, or bit of a mm. couple of ice cubes. Yeah, the three different flavors. So, yeah, so true. that is perfect because it's layered. Great and and whiskey tasting is called profiling. So you actually change the profile mm. based on whether it's neat, whether you, you add in a syringe with yeah. a bit of water in it, or you add in a lot more water. Mm. The profiles change, and some people are suited to different profiles. So you might want, enjoy something with a bit more ice in it, water, because you. Look, I know as a mature palate. You, 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 everyone's got different tastes where mm. younger people might go oh I just want more ice yeah. so yeah, it's yeah well I tell you as a refreshing drink that cool refreshing drink <laughs> Papu usually goes and mows the lawn and he'll have a glass of water like a full glass of water but he'll just put a splash of wuzo in it just to give it a, that little bit of a kick do you know what that would go nice with? crushed lemon yeah, my, I agree if wow. you had crushed lemon a lot of ice or lime as a cocktail or lime. Wow. Grease. I, can, I like, see it. Like lime, all lime. Yeah. Tahitian lime. lime. Fresh Tahitian lime. Right. That'd be fucking brilliant. Well, I'm keen to try that. That's a great idea. Like, yeah, I agree. I mean, mm, that, yeah, that would be fantastic. Yeah, with a bit of lime. Well done, Stavros. But I've lost that wrong. He's got some lemon from the, from the seafood. Let's see. Fuck. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, meet the Greek. Thank you. Um, you tell us what it? that's like. So, so I've had it with ice, and it's got that citrus, but it's a sweet Bring citrus flavor to it. Let's do a little bit the, of an experiment. Uh, the fishy yep. lemon. Fish lemon. <laughs> well, you just dug it out. It was underneath an octopus, which was underneath a layer of fish, which was underneath juice. a prawn, <laughs> which was sitting on top of an oyster shell. I don't even know if there's any juice left, <laughs> to be honest. Here we go. And and just, just, uh, other, yeah, put a touch of water or a, or a, or a bit of ice. Can you put a bit of sweat from your hand on it? <laughs> okay, so we've just poured some lemon. We've got another round of Lazarus. The reason why I like lime over lemon is because lime is overpowering. That's good. 
Fuck, I when like lime that. lime isn't as much overpowering, so that's an ouzo sour, basically. Yeah, I really like that. That yeah. is really good. Stavro, 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 you're the man, mate. 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 Fucking hell. Very nice. Might get start a match today. Good you know, I just guessed that. I, just, yeah. <laughs> I didn't really know it was going to be good with the lemon or lime. No, yes, mate, it's just like you read the that. label again. See that? <laughs> Did it say it on the label? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was on his phone. He's looking for recipes. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you fucking Actually, looking What, what was the last thing I Googled? Uh, Oh, Campari Probably porn. Oh, I actually just googled like Campari buildings. group. I was trying to find something to put shit on them about. No, no. Yes, <laughs> he couldn't find it. Hey, anything. they they own Wild Turkey, by the way. Wild Do Turkey, they? yeah, yeah. Okay. an Aperol. If you've been in Italy and had an Aperol, oh, Aperol spritz, good. Oh, so yeah. last yeah. summer in Greece, the Aperol spritz was going big in a cinephore, as Did, they say. So I've been to Italy quite a few times. Back in 2012, that was a thing. Mm. Yeah. So we're talking. It still like is. 40, Aperol spritz is. It's gone through ago. waves. It's gone through waves, and last year it was mental. It was bloody every. Even oh, I had one. Beautiful. Yeah, right. Brilliant. Loved it. Mm. So it's with champagne, isn't it? Uh, no, 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 it's it's it's, it's the Italian Verm- version Verm- of champagne. Vermouth, I think it is. It's, 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 no, it's uh, three parts three parts uh, prosecco. Oh, that's it. Prosecco. Prosecco. One yeah, part apérol, mm-hmm. dash of soda water, and ice. It's oh, good and stuff. a little it's bit. Of, you could put a dash of Negroni in there too. I, mm. Oh no. That, Actually, that's now, my now, we're, now we're talking Negroni is that You can have a Negroni spritz too But Really? Yeah, yeah. It depends on where you go That's my drink at the moment But if you want to just uh, Prosecco compa- uh, Sorry Prosecco Aperol, Aperol And so soda water So Negroni is actually Negroni is a cocktail So sorry to Sorry to correct you Campari I think Tom's getting So if you add Campari into it Nah Into the mic Because Campari is the drink Negroni <laughs> is the actual cocktail the Sorry Sorry Stop it all my wife will kill me out. if I don't correct this. Edit that out. This is <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> so Negro- oh, Neg- yeah, Negroni. Yeah, Negroni's you're gonna, the cocktail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Negroni, that's right. So Negroni's got a gin. No, I'm trying to think what it, what, it, what else it is. Um, it's it's three parts. It's it's three it's parts. Vermouth. Soda, it's Prosecco. Prosecco, sorry. There's no vermouth. Prosecco, uh, Aperol. Is it grapefruit? Grape juice? Is it grape juice? I'm not too sure what, what it is. Cut this, yeah, cut this out. Where what are you trying to do? I've got a fucking internet here. Tell just me. go, Apple, just go Apple Apple. spritz. I don't think, I think it's only two parts. Three parts is oh, Negroni. Uh, yeah, it's definitely Prosecco. Ah, oh, bitters. Ah, oh, bitters, yes. Dash of bitters. Yep, bitters. There you go. It's, and an orange wedge. Very good. Or uh, orange pill. Peel. Depends how expensive Bone oranges orange. are, really. You can just do it without <laughs> the oranges. Very good. Well, I'm having this halloumi. Smash it. All right, so let's move it on. So if we're eating now, it means that we've... How many bottles we've done are we right. eating? No, we've got to eat because it's it, like four. It can last longer. You're going to die. <laughs> Superhuman strength. The vomit becomes hey, that, chunkier. That couch looks pretty good. I've got soccer training in the morning. Um, <laughs> the girls are going to be uh, in fine form. <laughs> oh, dear. What's the drink? They're talking about drinks. What do you call the drink where you have Coca-Cola and Raki? Cola Raki. Co- yeah, <laughs> well done. Well, like yeah, it. it's a good drink. I'm, just going, I've never had that, but uh, yeah, that's what it's called, though. Yeah, yes, okay. Go, go to the bar in Greece. Can I have a kolaraki, please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Moving on to the next bottle of Uzo. Forty. Mm, Am I right in saying that it's uh, this one here, Pilavas? And by the way, we've moved up alcohol content. So thirty-seven, we've gone up to about forty now. This is forty. Yeah. So the last one was forty. So okay. we've got the journey, we've gone 37, 37, mm-hmm. we're up to 40. And as I, as I mentioned earlier, the, um, as you go up, generally the, the innovation and the profile and the, the tasting. The complexity. Complexity, it all, it all changes with the alcohol content. However, the one we had previously was, was amazing. So Very good. Well, I've got to say that Bilavas, I discovered a few years ago in Greece because my brother-in-law has a Café Mio and this is his standard. So you go in and order an uzo there, uh, and you're going to get a pilavas. Is this the one I meant? It's yes. very um, it's very rare to find an uzo from the uh, Peloponnese, isn't it? It's from Patra. Is it from really? Patra. Yeah. It's from Patra. I can't be good. No, 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 not, not. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Barras from uh, from. Uh, I, I think eighty oh. percent of your uh, audience is probably from the Peloponnese. So. <laughs> hey, a bit more respect, huh? Hey, hey, we've got one coming up on the Peloponnese, so we, we'll, we'll cater for them. No, no, no. And, well, and on that, Nikos Pilavas, Pete actually, Mujos as well. Thank you. <laughs> actually, uh, the guy was from Kios, so Nikos Pilavas Kios, huh? came from Kios to Patara, nineteen uh, forties apparently. Okay. So now the grandsons run it. So you talk about uh, Campari and all that. These are next lot. 
it's all in the family, like three, four, five generations. You just pulled a face there, Stephen. I'm interested to see what you thought of that. No, I just... Um, it's funny, my face, we, we, you, you see in the notes that they describe it as mm. the palate is in an explosion of flavours and the finish is nice. It did explode. Mm. It, as soon as I, I took that in, it did explode. Yeah. That's why I was... But what was the explosion? Because I'll tell you from my end, it was sugar. Really? It was I agree. very sweet. So there is a pretty big sugar content mm. in it. To me, it didn't have that same innovation, mm. same profiling... Same layering as as it was the previous one we had. That was the Lazarus. What do you call it? Was your sommelier? <laughs> is it that? I don't know. <laughs> That's what he is. That's me <laughs> munching on um, halloumi in the background. No, so. I'm just. A, I, I love. I in, in, enjoy. Like, I know. I love got, it. As I've gotten older, and and it came from going to wineries. Mm. You know, I, I went from I, I didn't even want to touch wine to, and then everyone, everyone's drinking Cab Sav. I mm. went straight to Shiraz. Yeah, and then I realised that that. As I got an older, my my palate changed, mm. and the Shiraz, yeah, you know, I, I got stuck. Yep, Shiraz is my drink, and then um, my wine go to wine and go on a Tassie. They got mm. no Shiraz. They got yeah. Pinot Noir, which is a different climate, and it's similar to Shiraz. And then it changed my palate again. So going through Tassie was just another experience, and and whiskey wow. as well. Yeah, amazing. But anyway, mate, this is um, you know what? With I know it's you quite guys flat. Are, I reckon it's flat. I That's must a have a different palate actually. to you guys. My, when I drink, it actually ta- brings memories for me. Mm. It actually takes me back to Greece. Mm. When I was in a little taverna, and in Greece, in Ipiro especially, that's all they drank. Bilava was their, yep. their main thing. Mm-hmm. That's what it takes me back to. So we talked about the Acropolis one, took me back to the back seat of a car drinking that. <laughs> this actually took me to Greece. Yeah. I thought, wow, I could feel the smell of the air, the trees. That's what it took back to me. So, I th- I th- and that's I think what it goes back to. It's your um, the experiences that you can relate to. Like I, I look across and I can see what bottle I know that I'm going to taste, and it will just take that to me. That's Greece because mm. I associate it with you know drinking it at different places in my life. <laughs> and, Sorry, and that. But I get what you're saying. Mm. There's a strong anise follow through. Mm. Like the finish is lingering. Yeah, yeah. I could right? tell. There's right. explosion and it just holds. Yeah. It's still at the back of my throat. I think throat. that's the indicator yeah. now. So since reading that, any mm. water or ice, if it goes really cloudy, a lot of an EC in there. Yeah. So let's try it now. I want, I want, I've got, let's put some ice in this. Yep. I've had that there. Um, while we're doing that, there's an interesting fact. So apparently this ouzel must relax. So what does it do? It just relaxes in the sun for two to three months after production. Mm. So as to a quite distinct personality... And you know what the, the distinct personality is? What? Beautiful, sweet, and easy to drink. That sounds like marketing ploy to me. It man. is. I think it is. It is definitely marketing ploy. I think it is. So, Mate, okay, but that's how I, feel. I do feel relaxed. Yeah. I, look, and in Greek, yeah, maybe because... Yeah, after four or five drinks, anyone's relaxed, yeah, mate. I'm starting <laughs> to do well, mate, You're probably remembering us sitting in the, sitting in the square at Lacones there yeah, last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Guys, all, all I can taste is lemon and seafood. Oh, my... That's it, Tom. You're doing well, mate. I'm you smell, haven't spilled yeah. anything. Well, not yet. Yeah, there's no ice left. <laughs> yeah, see, it goes cloudy straight away. Okay. Guess Good indicator. I've got to say, it is easy to drink with ice. I like it. It is easy to drink with ice. You love ice is much better with water, I think. Mm. Yeah. Definitely smoother. And again, it's it's. I think it's primarily because of the sugar content that I was talking about before. For me personally. Yeah. It yep. needs to be sort of leveled out a little bit. It dilutes it mm. and it makes it a yeah. lot more drinkable, but it's... It's, I'd say it's a bit more. It's probably the best with ice at the moment that I've had. Mm. Yeah, I'd I'm say. enjoying it too. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the heat, it could be the alcohol content. Forty mm. percent's right on the money. It's supposed to thirty-seven. Yep. Should we talk about the name of Uzo? Yeah, tell us about the name. How did we come up with the name Uzo? What do you think? Okay, there's three options. All right, All right. I'll read this out. So the word Uzo cannot yes. be translated. The original name of it is actually disputed. Scholars believe the name Uzo comes from the ancient Greek verb to smell or ozo. Mm-hmm. Another hypothesis is that the word Uzo comes from the Turkish word Uzum, great. Uzum, which means great. While others say it can be traced back to a story about a Turkish con- consulate physician in Thessaly in 18th century okay. who tasted the local Iraqi and cried out, but this is uso, uso di Marsiglia. The phrase, the phrase means for use in Marseille. 
was at the time stamped on crates of silkworm cocoons exported to from Thessaly to major merchants in the French port of Marseille and had become synonymous with any uh, product of excellent quality. Okay. So there's three options there. So either the ancient Greek word uh, for smell is ozol. Option two is the Turkish word for grape, which is uzum. Yeah, write that one off. I was going to say. One. Yeah, no, it's not that one. Mm. And the third option was this uh, consulate guy, Turkish consulate guy in Thessaly, who had it, and he used the term uso de Marsiglia, which means this is for Marseille, where all the quality, pro- qu- quality products would go. Well, given that there's a double connection with Greece with Marseille as well, because it is a Greek settlement, mm-hmm. yeah. let's go with that one. Uh, lock it in. <laughs> a, you know what? There's nothing more romantic than linking everything to ancient Greek times. Ancient Greece? Yeah, that's, that's romantic. Really? It's sexy. Yeah. I kind of like the word. <laughs> usul. Yeah, mate. All right. I'm usul. tossing out usul. It's probably all of them, really. You reckon Look, the word usul ended is. up being ust? Ust. But ust. Ust to the other. So I did my research, and I'm not, I'm yeah. not reading this too, Nick. But anyway, yeah. I did my research, and the actual origins of Uzo itself. So it's 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 actually Tsipro. Yeah. Tsipro, 14th yeah, century people were producing months. Tsipro, 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 yeah. mm. and they decided to ch- add flavors to it. You know, the fermenting pr- like the fermenting mm. process. Oh, the origin, definitely. It was, you know, um, so, so the names. It's probably been. There's different, different. We, we're trying 12 different ones now. They've probably had a, so many variations of Tsipro that's got flavors in it. I think it's starting yeah. to shine through too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> many we've had. <laughs> so, but um, it's true. The monks in Mount Athos uh, mm. were making Tsipro yeah, yeah. from there. So they'd make wine, obviously. Leftover yeah. wine. You know, you got the seeds, the stem, the skins. Yep. And goes, fuck, let's ferment this. So... The, I reckon they'd be like a bunch of clowns like us sitting around. The fuck what could we, what can we ferment? <laughs> what, what, what smells the yeah. worst as a seed? Yeah. Fennel. It's like, oh, let's no, just throw it's, that it's in. more yeah. like, Malak, I told you to burn it, not yeah. fucking boil it. <laughs> 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 and then uh, he goes, fuck, it tastes all right. <laughs> yeah, it must have been an accident. Like, seriously, no, I, I doubt someone was sitting there going, yeah, I'm just going to try this. Like, it must yeah. have happened by accident. Yeah, sure. yeah. I, I, I look, and that's the experimental process. Mm. You yeah. know, and everyone liked it, and, and it caught on. And Marseille, because I've been to Marseille, beautiful, yeah. beautiful port. Marcelles. Ma, Ma, Marcelli. It's Marcelli. 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 What's Marcelles? Is that fake teeth? Marcelles. That's <laughs> different, slightly different. <laughs> but yes, yeah, you're on the money. <laughs> and um, and one thing I noticed because my dad's from Kos, and during the Crusades times and the um, that sort of trade period. We're talking the Venetians. Mm-hmm. We're talking um, even Genoa, all up those areas. Yep. Marseille, they're all port towns. Yep. And there, there are a lot of transportations. And I remember seeing the, the there is a distinct emblem that they've got. I know in, the, in, in Rhodes, as you go through the castle, there's a distinct emblem that I saw in Venice that I saw in Marseille. Mm. And it's a, it's a distinct <laughs> emblem. That's got, it's got like... A, there's four different symbols within the emblem. With right. the uh, lion. It's with the lion and the... Um, a winged lion is one of the uh, That's the Venetian. N- that's yeah. the line of St. Mark. No, nah, right. there, was, there, was, there was four different symbols. It wasn't a, a, like a... It was either... It's like a coat of arms or coat something. Coat of arms or it would mm. be half, half a colour here, there. Mm. Another cross. Yeah. Yep. It would be something, something but, different. But even to this day, they're very proud of the, the Greek origins in Marseille. Mm. Yeah, yeah, to the point where I think it was the anniversary of Marseille. It might have been eight hundred years, several years ago. Because actually, the or, the people from that town actually came from Asia Minor, and now as you know, it's occupied by Turkey. Yeah, yeah. So the, that town in Turkey, I don't remember the town name. They sort of made up a trireme, and they tried mm. to sail there. And the people in Marseille said, "Nah, we're not Turks. Because we're Greeks." He goes, "You're not. You guys aren't welcome." And they're very proud of that Greek heritage. And there's yeah, right. surnames there called. Um, De Michelis or De Michelis or something like that. De Michel. Yeah, and it goes back to uh, the origins of these people. There you yeah. go. De Michelis or Michalis or something like that. Well, well Marseille's got the highest crime capital in France, just to throw that Is one that in. Right? Yeah. yeah. And, um, but it's got the most beautiful port and a Notre Dame, which is world famous because it's got the. Um, that image of Jesus that was imprinted. Oh, it had it anyway. Well, yeah, it had it. It had it. <laughs> it didn't get burnt. Yeah, well, uh, no, is it? no, it's still there. That's no, it's still it's there. the Marseille Notre Dame. Yeah. So Notre Dame's in all towns, True. not just the Paris <laughs> one. 
<laughs> Love it. Oh, mate, this is very interesting. We're, we're going deep. You can tell how many we've had now, right? <laughs> well, Phoecia, that's where it's from. So 600 BC, P H O C A E A. Fokia. Fokia. Ah, Fokia. Ron they came, Forty. The boys came from Fokia. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fokia. Is that mousetrap? That's a fucker. Oh, that's a fucker. <laughs> yep. Very Fokia. good. Well, someone's stretching. All right. <laughs> Stavros is up. Oh, I don't know, but I went, back, I went back to this with ice. It's really good. Bilava's good. It's up there. We're, well, we're happy with Bilava, I think. I think we're going quality now. Are, yeah. you, are you giving, know, are you giving I, it a rating or what? I think it's a bit flat. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm okay with it as a standard, but I wouldn't put it above. I, I'd I have think, it with ice. Yeah. That, that there's a go-to with ice. The one before, though, the... the um, I think that's my problem. I had it after having the Lazaridis. Lazaridis. And oh, it's, you can't tell me the contrast isn't there between I, the two. Oh, I, it's I, I'm hiding day. on my spreadsheet. I'm hiding uh, Lazaridis as a uh, purchase. You definitely From should. From the Provador, the Greek Provador. <laughs> How much uh, this one? How much this one? Uh, okay. let's, let's look it up. Let's look up uh, the Greek Provador. They've got a website, don't they? I reckon it's about... Of course they do. Bucks. What's their website? The Greek Provador. It's a good website. Don't tell me it's the greekprovador.com.au. It is the greekprovador.com.au. So the Lazarus Uzo that we're having here is available on the Greek Provador, and it is $69. That's okay. worth it. Well, that's worth it. It really number. is. Yeah, that, that's worth so, it. That is a so, premium whistle. So, for example, our Plumati, Plumati, which is about fifty Australian dollars, mm-hmm. and there, there, there's another version of the Plumati, which is their elite, which is about sixty five dollars. Yeah, a dollo. Uh, it's yeah. called Plumati or dollo. Actually, yeah, I had dollo, that for yeah. the first time two weeks ago. Brilliant. Is it? Yeah. Really good. I was contemplating whether it was it's next worth to it. what I wouldn't want to get. It, the alcohol content again. Changes, but but mm. that um, the Lazaris is worth every cent. Mm. I've got to say. Well, yeah, again, the GreekProvador.com.au. Get yourself a bottle of Lazaris. It's really good stuff. Well done, Chris. I'm excited about our next two bottles. To be honest, these are our. Well, Gali- this Gali- one here. This is Galimera now. Oh, it's the one Galimera. Yeah, Galimera Uzo. Oh, oh, this is the other one from the Peloponnese. We yeah. had. I, I think the first time that we had this one was actually at you know, the, the barbecues episode. That's the first time Gali- that I tried it. Yep. Yeah, right. So, so my mum's on Peloponnese also. She's listening. Um, this is We're dedicated about. to her. Now, Apoli, right down the bond, bottom, Laconia. Laconia. You know, we, That's you know, a very famous uh, part Spartan. of uh, Greece. Yeah. She's Spartan. I'm, I've got Spartan blood. That's why I score really? those tries that I was taking. 50-50. Yeah, 50-50 <laughs> yeah, Sparta. I'm 50% Sparta. I'm 50 uh, yeah. Gotti. 50, uh, 50 Spartan, mate. Really? Very good. Is that what they call people from Kos? Gotti. Gotti. Is that it. what they call them? Yeah. Okay. There you go. There you go. Well, how do you say Svakanaki? Not this Svakanaki. Yeah, he was born in Crete. Yeah, but his mother was living next door to my auntie. Well, a friend of mine, actually. Uh, He's her uncle. Yeah, right. Uh, She lives here in Sydney. Okay. Yeah, she. she, I I met Noti very briefly, but I met his mother. Svakanakis. Twelve uh, ten years ago, living next door to my auntie's house. Fucking ackers. Fucking ackers. Fucking ackers. I should go back to Pascalidis episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Pascalidis. Uh, fuck Laris. <laughs> fuck Laris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classy. Anyway, so, let's, all right, let's what do we got? Argos. Let's move on with Argos. Argos. Argos Peloponis. Vasilis Mavrakis. Sounds Cretan. Hey, that, is, that is a Cretan name. That, that, is, that is a Cretan name. Well, is there any history on that? Forty, oh, you are the uh, historian on this <laughs> yeah, episode. Uh, you not give yeah, me some? Yeah, I think Nick's drinking out of my glass, oh, but we, I think he's <laughs> yeah, he has. Yeah, don't have it. Well, look, whatever you get from him, you can only get once. Hey, we, we share a lot in the football field <laughs> and off it. So uh. I don't know if it's my immaturity, but when I first smelt the um, uh, as yeah, I opened the bottle, it. I took it a whiff. Did you smell the mustic? Yes, uh, gum. A hundred percent. That is exactly. Yeah. Was that what just me? Like, no, no, it was no, me too. Is. That is borderline masticha compared to everything else that we've had. On the masticha. nose, it's mastic. So, so I don't mind what, it though. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet. Mm. But on the nose, mastic. On the palate, we'll give it a go. Mastic. Yeah. And it, it's a bit more harsher than masticha, obviously because definitely of the content. And the finish, you can taste the anise. Yeah. Oddly enough, I really like that one. Yeah. Like it is, uh, it is on the sweeter side, which I don't really prefer. But 
I gotta say, I mean, I'm glad, Stephen, that you said what you said because the second that I, you know, that it, uh, the glass touched my lips, I was like, "This is Mastika." So it's good to know we're all on the money here. And the interesting part, though, is there's nothing in my research that says that it's Mastika. Really? There's, there's, there, there is other, and we'll get to them soon. But there, there are other uzels that we're going to get to that have got seeds from here mm. and Mastika. Mm. Like from my research, I don't know about you, Nick. Let's have a look. What I write. Um, but yeah, that and sometimes it does that. Alcohol does that. So it depends on what they distill from a grape or a fruit, and 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 and, the, and that and that um, fermentation process, and the distilling process, and the seeds they put into yeah. it, and we might produce something that doesn't actually have it in it. Yeah. Now you're right. Well, mm. I don't know. Is is it in the the list of ingredients? I haven't got it, but it's yeah, I the most cloudiest it. I've seen out of all of them. Yeah, right. yeah actually, the most it is. Cloudiest. It is. So it's the Mavrakis family. Yeah, Ma- Mavrakis Distillery, and I've actually been to the website. They're actually really they've got good wines. Yeah. Mm. So they're 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 they're, they're, they're wine based, um, and it out of all the websites that I went to, they seem the most elegant, and it seemed they've been there for a while. Mm. So, um, in as we get go along, there's there's a few of them have got museums. They've been oh, yeah. around long enough. Mm. They've got museums, and Mavrakis is one of them that does have a museum. And they take pride in their wine. They're yeah. a wine distiller. Definitely. Yeah. So, obviously, a lot, of, a lot of if you see it in Australia, a lot of wine makers start off shooting because yeah. they've got alcohol. Yeah. When you think about how good some of the other spirits would be if some of these wineries in Australia, say in the Hunter or in the the Yarra or whatever, whatever the case is, if they started to diversify and do this kind of stuff, mm. they, just they, they are very slowly. There is a lot of them that have yep. that have tagged on, but you know, they apart from doing ports, mm. which is slightly off to what wine is, yep. there there is a lot that will go. Oh, we we've, we've created a small batch of this or a small batch of that. Yeah, you'll notice that if you go wine tasting in all the regions in New mm. South Wales now. Yeah. But this uh, Uzo, where where it's from, is, I mean, if you drive from Corinth to Argos, mm. you look left and right of the highway, that's pretty much where all of Greece's popular vineyards are. Yeah, mm. true. The vineyards yeah. that are here in Australia, the, the, yeah. you know, the bottles have made their way to Australia. Yeah. That part of the world, it's, uh, it's very, very re- renowned for their wine. And, of course, they make good Cipro. Yeah. Like, yeah. And that's the option. <laughs> We've had that's a the option. Yeah, like so. Cipro. Definitely. Yeah, well, um, 1864, Vasilios uh, Mavrakis and his mate, I think it's Nikos uh, Vidalos. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Stephen? Yeah. <laughs> so his last name is Vidalos. Is he Cypriot? Does he hey, uh, so, so the one thing that is I... His name's Big. Well, Nikos Vidalos <laughs> founded the winery <laughs> distillery. Nikos Vidalos. It was called Aga, Agamemnon Distillery. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So they combine them together, Agamemnon Distillery. But the key thing that I like, and I'm really good on history. What, Big Vidalos? No, 1864. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The eight, late 1800s mean? again. Yeah. yeah. We're talking about, you know, the, the um, that, that era. Yeah. And that's and where it was founded. But mm. I think the good thing is that the Mavrakis family still run and own it as well. So... Mm. Six well, generations? Is it five or yeah, six? Yeah, something like that. I didn't write Amazing. that much detail in, but yeah. I've got the Mavrakis still family running it. So brilliant. Quality, quality stuff. Nothing like Uzo 12. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 1880. Uh, Sold out to the Italians. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it, it, it feels like we're kind of going up a little bit. Like the, the, As in quality? Well, yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we're dipping in and out, but yeah. it's, the, the trajectory is going mm. up. I, feel so I like. thought my palate would change the more I've drunk. They're going to sound taste all the same, but it really makes you still awesome. tasting the difference. I think. I think what we're going to do now is probably plateau a little bit into our everyday drinks. These, are the, the next few are the, the everyday. Um, but but I think I think we're going to know the difference though because we've had shit. We've honestly had. Let's go back to the first one we had. Um, and we've got worse than that here somewhere. Yeah. Um, oh, there is worse. We didn't even bother yeah. putting it on there. The Zeus actually wasn't too bad Zeus for that. Zeus was okay. Yeah. And then... Um, it's that, like a pizza, you know. How shit can a pizza be? You still eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it depends a, what's on it. If you're, if you're 20, well, it was, was fucking day. You eat anything. Yeah. 
Some <laughs> American and Italian do not say that. Uh, okay. it's, uh, like even Domino, uh, yeah, you, you, you still know, eat it, right? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to be married to an Italian. If you travel to Naples mm. in Italy and you have their pizza, you become you come back and you're an arrogant fuck. Yeah, I you did, become such an arrogant fuck. Yeah. Yeah. But did you yeah. come back with your watch? Because <laughs> no, I, because <laughs> it's. <a, laughs> I tell I tell you a funny story about Naples. You know how I knew Naples was wild. The first day I picked up a car from Naples Airport and I was driving to the Amalfi Coast, I went into the roundabout the Australian way. <laughs> and not a single fucker beeped me. Not a single fucker lost their shit at me. They just drove around. Yeah. Casually drove around. Uh, Emperor, all, everyone improvises. Everyone yeah. makes room for each yeah, other. Yeah, no, they don't, they don't give a shit. They just go with the flow. Could be another psycho. Just yep. let him go. And let just, him go. He just <laughs> goes, yep, I've got no tyres left. Yeah, They've stolen yeah. them. <laughs> Here we go. Which yeah. is pure rim. Yeah. <laughs> sure, <I'm really> <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> Love it. Uh, How many stylish. we had now? Oh. Uh, we're up to six. six Mate, we're, we're barely halfway through. <laughs> you know Shit. what? Let's, let's, well, I'm, I'm actually. I, think, I can't wait. I think. I think ones. we. I think we need to move. The only reason I want to move on is because I actually want to get to the last couple of bottles and actually yeah. sit on those bottles. The last three are really the good. last three uh, oh. magic. Yeah, right, let's let's go. And let's go to the next let's, one. Let's the next two, actually, if you notice, that's if you come to my house, that's my go-to. It the is. next one is my go-to. Yes, and it the is. one after that's yours. It is. Yep. Mini. Mini is my go-to. So, so oh, my aunt. We'll tell yeah. our listeners what we're looking at. Yes, my Thea Katina, who passed away in 2009, pretty close. God rest her soul. Is actually she passed away, twenty fifth of March. Mm-hmm. Wow! Was, um, in two thousand nine. Wow! Um, so my cousin Ignatius was fifteen years ago, and she was a beautiful lady. Everyone loved her. Anyway, that was her. She in Bexley. Uzzle. Yes, Bexley. Yeah, Seaforth Street. I know her. Do you? I met her. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Wow. So my cousin. And she had a son called Forty as well. No, no, that was still that was Joanna in Glenfinn Street in Bexley, They're around the corner from each other. Another one in so Deacon's because Ber- of Angelo Berrios. Angelo Berrios. Michael Barrow. Okay, so Angelo Berrios was good buddy with my first cousin. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> That's why you met him and his name was Forty. What a fuck. 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 You speak Greek? You speak Greek? You speak Greek? That's the usual thing. You're trying to sell on me now. So Thea Catino, you lived around the corner. Yeah, I remember. Right, really close to the... Seaforth Park, yeah. So anyway, so the mini is close to them. I got introduced to the mini from my cousin Ignatius, who's been to more World Cups than I have. Anyway. Far out. There you go. Long story. Cut That's short. good. That's good. What was her name again? Um, Katina. Katina. Chista Katina. My hand is resting on the chair, just propping me up at the moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just putting and, that that's water. saying something because, you know, you, I mean, <laughs> most people I, won't I haven't know. Had a, I haven't had a drink in two, two weeks. So yeah, my tolerance your is why? And you're renovating too. Yeah, I'm renovating, working, yeah, renovating, working. Out, yeah. Yeah. Look, um, I'll be, I'll be watching. Boys. I've been watching Suits, and Harvey Specter likes a bit of a whiskey. Oh, yeah. So I've been inspired. Yeah, I got, got, is that a I series ne- on Netflix? It is, and it's been. It's it's got a renaissance. It's come back, and um, I actually I'm actually impressed with it. He loves his What's whiskey. The gentleman? There's something there's something impressive about oh, well, the gentleman. Yeah. Have you ever been Have you Great ever been show. to a wedding and? Before the wedding, you might be in like a what's it called, like a uh, holding area, holding Some area, sort. and and you might have a whiskey in your hand, and you're dressed in a beautiful tuxedo, and you're yeah. drinking your whiskey, and yeah. your fiance sitting next to you saying "Thafameti pota." But you feel a bit sexy in that moment, don't you? Yeah. I feel like James I feel, Bond. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so in suits, there's a guy called Harvey Specter. Yeah. I feel like Harvey Specter, yeah. and he drinks. Whiskey and the whiskey is top notch. Yeah. Like we're talking, he's Macallan twenty five. Macallan twenty five. <laughs> you drink the gold label and like a oh, blue label, fucking rubbish. Yeah. Though it is the <laughs> one of the best blended whiskies you can get. But the Macallan twenty five, we're talking anything twenty five year old. A glass is about a hundred bucks. Mm. One glass. So sure. wow. it is. It is. Um, there you go. So, uh, well, yeah. talking about show, you got to watch that uh, the gentleman on Netflix. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah, that's that's fantastic. Fantastic. I, I got yeah. to the end is of the first James episode. Is it James Theo? Is that his name? Yeah, James Theo. He's a Greek. He's a Greek boy. boy. He's a nice Theo Greek boy. James. Is he? Theo James. Yeah. Yeah. If anyone's got a sister or a uh, daughter that they want to marry off, uh, James Theo, Galope. Yeah, yeah, great boy. <laughs> solid, solid boy. Is he drink right. whiskey? Drink whiskey. Oh, yeah, right. It's I want to get off the show. English. We should. Theo James, if you're listening, mate, we we want 
Bring him in. Bring him in, <laughs> mate. St- St- Stav, St- St- you you are going. You, you're this going south. Is, this is, <laughs> in, in a in a way that I didn't expect. <laughs> like, he's on he's on the go card. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the, the chair's gone sideways. <laughs> where's uh, my smokes? Where's my smokes? Oh, uh, boys. <laughs> cheers to Mini. Let's have a okay, quick. Okay, here we go. Cheers cheers to to oh, I've already smashed. Cheers to Pia Catina. Pia Catina. Look, I I already. I had the mini like I said to you this is my everyday if I have Uzo stocked in my house for everyday drinking this is the one for me so you can, for, for me this is sitting on his balcony yep talking shit mm. that's it's, that it's, right it's, there it's, it's yeah I, I don't know the, the, I, I really like the art the, the finish I really yeah, like the finish there is something too. that sits there as I mentioned earlier there is there are seeds from there is there is mastic from Hios mm. that's in it yeah so there is, is mastic in, in that one. There is. There you go. And it sits better than a lot of the whiskies we've had. Mm. Yeah. Like, like I know, I know, I know the, the I know that the one that the innovative one that we had earlier. Yep. Was the Lazarus was amazing in terms of that innovation, but this just sits and holds yeah. in a straight line. I think it's the aftertaste. What did you call that? The it's the finish. The finish. Yeah. So you got nose. Palette finish. Nose palette finish. Got it. Yep. I'll ask you in five minutes again. But, <laughs> but the finish, great finish on it. Yeah. So I think we've hit, we've gone another level, I think, with these ones. I think, I think we've gone. I don't know if um, Steve will like this one, but well, um, it's owned by uh, Pernod Ricard Group, which is French. Uh, let me chime in there. Five percent of it is still owned by the 17 Italy. families that yeah, all solid. took part in the repro- that, yeah. solid. Good company. Still Greek. Guys, that's <laughs> from like from Mitilini, from Italy, so and we still make it. The Greeks still make it. Yeah, exactly. Mitilini. It's still. I know that's one thing that yeah. when I first found, we don't care about money. Turned we just off, care about quality. You got to dig a, dip, a bit deeper, and yeah. um, we care about quality. So 17, 17 families. families. How did they? Yep. Make, how were they able to agree? You know what Greeks are like. That's why they yeah, sold they, it, mate. Yes. They sold off a ninety-five percent. <laughs> make it someone else's problem. It's yeah. things. It's just my luck. <laughs> But I think they had so many it. arguments. They just go, mate. Someone with common sense just goes, let's get rid of this because yeah. we've caused fight with all the families. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can just see it. Oh. Yeah. How do you say anise and fennel in Greek? It's glikaniso. That's it. Glikaniso. Okay. So you got more to put in glikaniso. Glikaniso. Classic, uh, but uh, look, that's good. I think we've we moved up again, another notch, quality well, wise. That to me so far is probably your best standard out yeah. of all of them so far, yeah. mm. until you get to the, this next bottle, <laughs> again, <laughs> which is my standard. Apparently, on the nose is cardamom, and I'm like, mm. on the nose. You, you've, than... you've got to go have a curry. Cardamom, I found. <laughs> what it's good for? <laughs> What's it good for? And George the Ambers, I know why he drinks it. Inflammation. Inflammation. Yes. Wow. Yes. You Ease heat inflammation up. and protect your sores against cold oxidative stress. Fuck. Put cardamom. I'm telling you, there you go. put black pepper, Fuck. cardamom, aniseed, nutmeg, cinnamon, and it sounds turmeric. Like an and turmeric. It sounds like a nuzzle. Put it in a bit of warm milk and just warm it up slowly. Warm it up slowly. Warm it up slowly. Yeah. Just till it starts simmering and then strain it. It's essentially a like a chai tea, but yeah, that, yeah. they reckon is that what, is, is what the next year is, yeah. is fucking unbelievable. Fuck well, that's no. what the, all the what so you just said, is on something. mate. But like what you just said is it all makes the, sense. All, all the uh, Uzzle, um ingredients. Yeah. Well, interestingly enough, in Corfu we do this thing. Well, they must do it everywhere else as well. Sikopita. Have you had it before? No. So fig. Basically, they get figs. They put it all together, and they make it sit in uzo and pepper. Wow. It sounds funny, but it fucking works. It's fantastic. And I reckon there's something in that too. Is that in, what, to ease inflammation, is it? Or? It's just a, a something to eat. Yeah, right. Like a dessert or, or something. Sikopa, that would be good. That would be for inflammation. Yeah, I'll bring great. you some. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to need the next Oste, Greek Oste campaign I think so. in August. Very so good. is on the same. Because he won Players Player again. Mate, I... Um, Fuck, on one knee. Cheers, boys. All right. So we, we are on Blomari. Blomari we now. Go. Here we go. So this time. is my standard. Yep, me too. Okay. I can happily drink that all day. Mm. That just that just flows. Yeah. It's, a, it's it's got like a full body type finish. It's still sweet, but it's it, it doesn't have that syrupy sort of 
thing about mm. it. Yeah, no sugar. Like, yeah, it is. It's not that not, not that sickening sweet mm, taste. Exactly. There's not much complexity to it, but um, none at all. That's the funny thing about it's an this everyday one. drink. It's, it, this is an everyday yeah. drink. It's it's not offensive. It's it's easy on the palate. It's not offensive on the nose too. You take a big whiff of it. Yeah. You're not getting. You, you know, can't go you, wrong with it. Your your senses aren't being heightened. It's. Do you, do you taste any salt in it? I'm gonna throw that mm. out there. Might be the chips you're eating, mate. Yeah, yeah. mate. You've, you've had. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw that out there because I've got the ingredients here, and, yeah. and, and there's a different finish. The way I taste things is when, when I when I drink it, it, it the flavor will stay. So that that mit, um, that mini was staying. It, it, the flavor was holding. Mm. With this, I felt like it came back around and held. And that's just a weird yeah. way I'm tasting it. It's and got very well descriptive. Yeah, I just feel like it just came back around on me and it held on me. So mm. um, I'm probably too close to it to be able to, to comment on that yeah, now. So like, you're probably better off. In this yeah, position. look, I'm, like, I'm, I'm here tonight to, to, to examine this from, from my perspective. And I look at the ingredients just quietly and I'm just going, what is that full around that's coming back? Usually you've got sweet, but there's got to be something to counteract it back. Yeah, true. And so the ingredients that I've got here is... It contains soft water from the sources of Sedu River, sure. Lesborian anise, mm-hmm. which is um, Lesbos, fennel from the north from North Evia, mm-hmm. star anise, cinnamon, nutmeg, heosmastic extracts, um, various other herbs from the land of Lesbos, secret herbs and spices, mm. and, salt and salt from the Galoni Salt Lakes. There you go. So well, maybe so that's that is what it what balances it out. I, c- I can feel that flipping back over to me. I don't know. Just that's sort it, of it, probably, it's, it probably stops it from being sickly sweet. Now that you mentioned it, yeah, I could sort of see what you're talking about now. Yeah, like I I, I just feel it like comparing to the Mithilini, which and then the yeah. other ones were just sort of holding straight. Mm. And that sweetness and that and anise flavour, I feel like it's just sort of coming back. I can still taste the anise, but it's yeah, the sweetness is dying and it's sort of mellowed out mm. more back I could but very and look a lot of complex that, flavors in that isn't there well the, the more you guys are talking about it the more I'm sort of seeing it but <laughs> yeah. all I can say about this one is it that back yeah well, it comes well, back all I can say is this with ice and water with a piece of grilled octopus is grease that is grease that is grease. Can you bring that, plate up? that experience is grease. <laughs> you can <laughs> get the octopus in here <laughs> bring the octopus <laughs> Just use your fingers. And look, I think <laughs> I think if anyone was to open up a Greek restaurant here in Sydney, yep. or anywhere, anywhere part of the the outside outside of Greece, yeah, Blumati is the the also you're putting on it's your a menu. Stable. It, it, look, I didn't and, mind and, mini. And and I'm actually holding mini. Just you, you can put mini as well. I, I, I think you can put mini. You can put Blumati. Um, they have to be, but Blumati I think is also a little bit more iconic. So so for me. I had the mini and the plumati, and I have not as intimate with the mini as you guys. Am I the Catino and that plumati for me? It does it only because of mm. it. It just has that. I think. I think that roundedness taste that bounces back. Well, when you makes describe it, it that way, when you read what's in there and you really think about, it, you actually do feel like you taste it. Mm. Very complex. Yeah. Bravo, Forty. That was well, really good. All right, guys, we're moving on. Thirty-five in. Cretan Distillery. Up to Crete. Now, this was one of my favorite, and I know it's one of your favorites, Tabros. Now, we've done a job on this bottle already. Sorry. <laughs> my sincere apologies. Well, Stephen did. <laughs> well, that was the Charity Shield match, wasn't mm. it? Yeah, you've got to have a drink. because you won, that. that's why. Actually, I well, remember. This was before. When you, I no, this was before. He did a beautiful barbecue, Nick. Yeah, mm. a beautiful Thanks barbecue. Invite. Thanks, man. Sorry, mate. You should have come. Let's I know. Footy. Yeah, he told me he didn't answer the phone. I probably had a probably had a soccer match or training session because that's my life. Anyway, now, this one quality stuff, and I know it's good because I know what you're like with your alcohol. And I saw your eyes lit up when you had it. Hadn't heard of it. Go, what is this? Had a sip. Your eyes lit up. Yeah, like dinner plates. Yeah, it, oh it, my it, God. it hit the right. So this one again is from the Greek Provador, and it's made a bit of an impression on us mm. uh, since we since we got this one. I haven't tried it personally. Oh, you're going to try it now. Um, and when I did the research on it, I got excited mm. because, well, again... Well, you had the Cipro. We've been having Cipro of it. Yeah. Um, they, they're, they're initially... Are they they're gin distillers? 
No, they're a bunch no. of mates. Actually, maybe wine, but they're a bunch of mates. That mm. Got together and said, fuck, let's just make an Uzo. And they played around with it, toyed. One of their mates has got a distillery. What are their names? Read along George Makolakis. Yep. Bandelis Fanor- Fanorgakis. Bandelada. And El- Elias Melisorgos. Fuck Elia, mate. And Elia's got the distillery, go. apparently. For a start, All right. the bottle itself is really is really nice. So it's similar to a bottle of Blomati in its, in its sort of style and approach, but this one's a little bit more colourful, which mm. is not sort of a characteristic of a lot of these, uh, these Uzo bottles. So mm. there's a very fresh sort of summery feel in the branding of it to start yeah. with. Mm. And then as soon as you, uh, you, you jump into this bottle... It makes an immediate impression. I don't mm. want to sort of spoil it for you for yeah. that. But oh, I'm look, gonna, I'm just gonna... pouring it in the glass, it's not really cloudy. Just before we go on, we've actually had our 40% alcohol. Now we're jumping up to 42%. Oh, good play. Good Okay, talk. so for me, as a avid alcohol drinker, I, I, as, as, the as, alcohol a, as co- a raging alcoholic, uh, he says. As a ra- <laughs> raging alcoholic. Grab that. Grab the octopus. What's going on here? I'm Nick? just addicted to rager hole. <laughs> I've got to say, the, the Lazarus really changed my mind. The Lazarus. The, Lazarus yeah. really mm. changed my mind with, with um, innovation. Yeah. As we go up with alcohol content, it changes the profile of the flavour sure. and it tastes more, you know, and, 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 and for those who are astute to that tasting will mm. understand it. So this is at 42%. We're jumping to there. I'll read the description for it. It's a, it tastes is semi-arid, which will be semi, semi-dry, mm-hmm. with hot alcohol and full body. So I don't know what that means until I taste it. But it says soft intensity aromas of anise, fennel, mastic, kakuli, and cinnamon. What's mm. kakuli? <laughs> kakuli? It could be cardamom, is it? I don't know. It probably kakuli. is. Kakuli. Is that when the kid's being naughty? The government may Google Google Translate. I can't even say fucking Google. I'm fucked. Kakuli. Not all Google. 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 Kappa Alpha Kappa. Kakule is cardamom. There you go. Kappa oh, Alpha Kappa. There you go. There I, you did, go. I did say that just then. I'm just probably inflammatory. So yeah. It keeps coming back. So, Nick, so why, didn't, here, why do you think it didn't go eat? white? I'm calling this to the Ciambas theory now. It is. Uh, it has now. It, it took a while. But why? I think the what ice cube what? was just too small. Yeah, but what did you okay. see? What layers did you see? Did you see some sort of flowing fluid? Yep. It says oily. Wow. And that looked like it was oily. Yes. Pleasant texture with a long and sweet and slightly sweet finish that expresses the authentic character of the spirit. Great call. And we've got to call out 35N is the longitude on the world map and it goes right through Crete. There you go. So if you look at 35 longitude north, apparently it goes right through Crete. Forty's a fan. Oh, oh, here we go. Beautiful. So I've had it neat. It's beautiful. People can't see that, but he's just I've had it squinting neat. his eyes, and, and, his and left hand's pumping, he's so grabbing his forehead. It is so tape. smooth. It is smooth. Look, it, it probably isn't the traditional uzo. I've got mm. to say, it's not the traditional uzo. It's not holding the the um, the um anise yep. and all that, but you've got the uzo. You've still got anise coming through it, but it's just pleasant. I just feel like it's just... Is it like the... Men, um, what's his name? Menesis is... What, what did he introduce us to? Oh, Menaeus. Menaeus. Sorry. The, um, <laughs> wrong sorry, guy. Pete. Ah, wrong guy. You're close. Sorry, Pete. Wrong yeah. Pete. <laughs> Pete Menesis, Pete Menaeus. I know. It's, very, it's fucking yeah, good. Pete eh? Menaeus. Uh, well, the Votanicon. Votanicon. The gin. Is it yes. like that? I had that last weekend. Did you? Yes. How was it? So I, I did use Tahitian lime. Okay, from okay. from Birdie because it's very <laughs> smooth the, the botanic Birdie. one it's not as strong but the ar- aromatic flavors so you can taste I can I can all the botanicals all the botanical sorry all the botanical flavors throughout you can you can taste that all through it yeah you can but it depends what you I, I had it with um uh, Indian tonic water so okay. all my gin I have with Indian tonic water and lime Tahitian lime Do you have to have a country in front of everything you have. That's how you know it's good. Indian, so Haiti, Indian. I, I'm, I'm just yeah, really you know surprised what? by how good that, this one is. Really. Is that is that what I was like the first time I tried it? Yeah, yeah. I saw your face. It hit me and it did leave an impression on me. Well, you drank it's, three quarters of the bottle. Uh, you kept yeah, on going back. I have a problem. Um, <laughs> but it, it was a good night. Fantastic. Yeah. Look, f- Uzo, People. A lot of people don't like Uzo. Like 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 sick people it, don't like Uzo. Well, yeah. 
If it's you, for it's for the reason you blokes said before. You know, it's because we've all got PTSD. Yeah, and 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 the young people that go, oh yeah, my oh, dad's problems. drinking it. My dad's drinking it. I'm going to drink it, and they mm. get sick of it. Yeah, it's not a, a a young person's drink. Yeah, but the way that hits, the mm. way it it is just short, sweet, and it's done. It's you done. S- it's like it's a modern twist on Uzo yeah. to some to, to some degree. But, but like, but like, still traditional to to a, another degree. Yeah, I think the sugar content with younger people gets them, making them feel sick because that Acropolis yeah. first one made me feel sick. Yeah, it made me feel like a kid. This this one here just gives you all the flavors. It's short and sweet. It just yep. hits hits. Mm. Look, that's probably been my bang. Yeah, like oh. from 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 the Uzo type modern flavors and the way you want to drink alcohol. Mm. That there hits the best for me. Mm. Out of all the ones we've tasted, it's probably the most floral too. Floral, yeah. yeah. Floral, okay. Have another crack. He's thinking about it. What do you reckon? My palate, it's not. For my palate, it's not as floral. Okay. Like, look, in, in your palate could be different. I'm, I'm, yeah, exactly. We're all going to be different. Everyone's different. That is not floral to me. I've got the anise. I've got, I've got the, um, the licorice flavor hitting short and sweet. And it's finished. And it lingers, but it's not painful. Like, it's not... It's not that burning feeling. And, and you know, like the Plumani, we, you know, we, we came back on our soul, came back on you in circles with the mini hurled. This one here just finishes. Yeah. Mm. From a modern young person drinking this, I want yeah. Uzo, I'll drink this and I'm done. I'm not going to get sick out of this. If I was a young person, I've got, I've got nephews yeah. who are 25... Yeah. I'd be buying this as gifts from here on in. I'm personally going for that. The Greek well, Providor. Where, where do we, is that Greek Providor? Mm. It is. So the bottles is light and vibrant. I, I Imagine, did that. you know, I've got to ask, the, the, the people that work at the Greek Providor, surely they've, they're going around the world just tasting all this shit because they, they are hitting bangers. I don't know. We've got we've got to ask Crystal. We've got to bring her in or something right. and, and and have yeah. a discussion about all the it shit they are they are they are putting on the market is mm. just look. I, I've seen that in other places, which means it's quality. It's it's it's, it's quality. Yeah, it's it's yeah. hit. Well, let me tell you. But even the the Cipro we had was the same. Thing. Sorry, Tico the we had yep. same brand, same people. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, look, the Greek dot com dot au. They've got this thirty five n Creedon Distillery was a hundred percent distillation, seven hundred mil bottle. It's seventy five bucks a bottle, so it's not the cheapest was on the market. No, obviously, it's worth it. but it's mate, worth it. but it's a that is worth the quality. If, if if I was if I was in my te- late late teens, obviously you could legal age to drink alcohol, yeah. and and in, in your twenties, sure. sure, it's <laughs> it actually it, look look the bottle itself is a party bottle, mm. and it also says light and vibrant, which is what it is. Mm. To me, it is light, vibrant. It doesn't have that sickening. That is genuinely one of the best ones that we've had. It is one of the newest ones that we've had. So we've only had that bottle in our possession for a couple, what a month or so, a couple of months, Nick. Yeah, it's made a huge impression on it's us. Nearly gone. So, wow, thirty-five n, definitely a winner, right? Absolutely, absolutely, definitely a winner. Lead the well, we need to move on to the next ones, and Here we go. I mean, the you know these next. How, how two many bottles, we got? How many we got left? Two, two, two bottles. Is that it? Oh, maybe yeah. Two from I'm, the I'm, same I'm, distillery, though. So that that we've done these before, though. You, we oh, have. So. And I, look, last time we were here, how many episodes was it? Fifty-three Fresh episodes crack. ago. Fifty-three episodes. Yeah. Do you see where we are in, in know, the barrel? In the I pecking know. order. We are the bottom Mark scraps. Mark Bruce, Nick Giannopoulos, all these. Oh, all these. They won't. Even, they won't even make tipple with our stems. Mate, that's oh, that's oh, how. Mate, bottom we Mark Burris. How much? How much is the bottle that uh, that Mark Burris gave us? Oh, the whiskey bottle. Two hundred. 200 bucks for it's a whiskey bottle. Oh, you can so, try it. I've got so until you, until until you can bring us your own distilled whiskey. A bit more. <laughs> hey, mate, I where's, can where's bring you from? something distilled. It's not, it's not uh, so quality, yeah. but it's <laughs> double distilled. So, so Nick, you haven't seen my whiskey collection, have you? Which all right. yours? <laughs> yeah, you, you send me photos all the time. Yeah. Like, uh, for the, have, have the rest of that so I can uh, give you a bit of this one. So we don't taint it. What are we doing? Barbayani. Okay. It's Barbayani, yes. So Barbayani brushing. Let's get back on the... Let's get back on the... Back on track. So, so fifty three episodes since we last me and Stavro were together, yep. and the first time I met you, we had, I remember we had three Barbayani, um, three Barbayani Uzos, yep. and you were old war buddies at that point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were hugging. It was the speak going on. Oh yeah, we had the Kondosuvli going. That was that was a cracker episode. 
Yeah. Did your dad make that barbecue? Yeah. Was that the yeah? Yeah, he's, he's, he's beautiful. My dad just made a fresh lamb spit, like a proper lamb with cover. Yeah. Got excited. He's got a video. Send it half to cover me. or full? cover? He's going to send it to you actually full cover. Okay. Full cover. Full cover. So when thermostat. are we trialing it? You got to bring it here like. to try. When the, I can, I can do whatever you like, whenever you like. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> right. Okay. I'm well. apart from Sunday mornings where I'm coaching. Yeah. Pretty high level. I'll, I'll, Saturdays I'll are good a, for me. I'll send you a video of what Very he good. sent me on his name day. He had, was it four or three? I had, I had four. I had four. 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 They've come over. So Forty, mm. the one that you met, mm. it's his sister. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. So, so they came over first time. Yorgos, George came over from um, it's twenty five years. Really? Hey, uh, you're gonna love this story. The last time he came over, he went to a rugby league match in summer. Which one would that be? Charity uh, Shield. Charity, Charity Shield. Shield, yeah. Shield. Yeah. So it was in 1998. What happened the year before? In the two years before. Super, Super League. League. Super League. Super League. Super League. So Saints Manly, no. That so was so so ninety seven happened. Yep. And where was Mundine playing? St. Uh, Brisbane. Brisbane. No, Brisbane. Brisbane. St. Jo- oh, Brisbane. 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 Super League. Ninety eight. Where was he playing? Uh, he was back at Saints, wasn't back he? Back at yeah. Saints. So that was the first game back. The mm. Souths came back oh, as was that well. That game? So that game there, my my um my cousin's husband Yorgo Tiriko, mm. he owns a hardware store in Cos. We took him to a rugby league game. He's like, he goes. Like a this or I'll come along. Dig in at the door. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Rugby is just watching guys bashing each other. But then he turned, he turned to his right hand side and he saw a South Sydney female with a top off. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like us. Yeah. So um, and he just goes. Did you get it to the door? Did you get it No, no, What kind of a game is that? <laughs> so the last time he came over, he witnessed Mundine playing and his South Sydney supporters yeah. going and a South full Sydney fan going yeah. topless. Yeah. Going topless. And, he, and so we've come back, he goes, Are there any rugby league matches on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I go it's off season it's yeah, okay yeah. or give him that memory you can stay there with that memory forever so I'm um, so he so, so he came over go. he came over so I put on a big spread yeah we went all out lamb I do, I do a Portuguese peri peri chicken thighs oh, yeah. chicken cutlet yeah. with a bone so you've got to hold the bone in there because it cooks through yeah. properly on, on the condosuvli condosuvli I Love use it. a a mango wood charcoal, which is from I guess them Blumenthal. Oh yeah, and I had a mate who what country is it from? Just, oh, Tocheston. 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 Okay, but before I forget, sorry, hold yeah. that thought. When Ben Hur came out in Greece, yep, yeah. and and the Ten Commandments, who's the lead actor in those movies? Charlton Ta- Heston. Heston. Charlton Heston. 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 In Greece. They didn't write the name with the H, or the the X at the beginning. Uh, it's Charlton Eston. E-S-T-O-N. <laughs> For that reason. So Eston Blementhal. I digress. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Just want to throw that in. Eston Blementhal. <laughs> yeah. Or, or Eston. Sorry. So I, I, use, I use that charcoal, and, and we've had arguments amongst the Greek Aztec community about yes, the type of charcoal we, we use, because apparently our Someone fearless leader... Yeah. I'll say that oh, loud. Who? A fearless leader. Oh, okay. Well, I don't remember that. Thinks he's got a bit of charcoal than I do, so let him have it. <laughs> um, I, I cooked so much food that people were taking stuff home. Yeah. I had the Greek priest from Liverpool Church come over, and he was doing the um, blessing the house. He's walked in. Check this out. He's walked in, and my cousins from Greece are going, "Oh, Papa, sit there. What the hell? This is—is is this addicted?" He's come in. He's like, "Oh, yeah, yeah." I go, "I go, party. I go, you know, you got you got to stick around." He goes. He goes, I love this. We had Greek music blazing, alcohol. I had all my whiskeys out. I had fucking everything. All, all, all the, I had my whiskeys out. I had all the Uzos were finished. The Uzos <laughs> had the Mini, had the Blumari, had the Brabayani gone. Three of them gone, right? <laughs> and they got into my whiskeys. Well, I've got some, like my, my, my godbrother and my cousins are, are connoisseurs. One of them went to Scotland. I put one out, which is called the Octomore, which is... um. I like peaty, smoky whiskies. 
And this one has got, it's actually got Greek writing on it, Dialogos, sure. and now point uh, nine, mm. which has got the two with peatiness. Right. Okay, and he tried it, and it's 58% alcohol, which means, <laughs> which like the alcohol is high, but the actual innovative flavors that come out of it are ridiculous, yep. unless you know it. Sure. And so he just went to Scotland over in, uh, he went and watched Man U actually, um, in November, December, he came with his wife, he came back, he went through all these distilleries, he never tried that. And when he pulled that out, he had, I guess, he goes, can I have more? Like, of course. <laughs> there was a bit, there's only a bit left, yeah. but it is a thin bottle, it's called yep. Octomore. If mm-hmm. you look it up, it's ridiculous. Anyway, he was asleep in, the, in my bedroom. <laughs> really? <laughs> Knocked out for the rest of the afternoon. The papa came in, I said to the papa, listen, I go, look, I know how many houses you got. He goes, Oh, I've got about 17. I'm like, Oh, all right, listen, if you, we're going to be here all night. If you want, come back. Yeah. I'm thinking, there's no way he's coming back. Nine o'clock, knock on the door. The papa comes in. Comes in with his Vasilikor. Vasilikor. <laughs> he's coming. And he's like, So you got two blessings of the house. I've got two blessings of the house. He just yeah. goes, You guys are party animals. I'm coming back every four dawn. <laughs> I'm like, I now got to do the same thing every four dawn. Yeah. Four so yeah, you were really upset about that. I was, I was. <laughs> so you three, imagine, six. It's my name day, and yeah. I've got to work my ass off. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you imagine, enjoy it, though. Imagine, you love it. Do, imagine do, being I love, asleep. I love entertaining. It's imagine being asleep, you're off your face, and you wake up, and there's a papa standing over the top of you. You go, I'm dead. Yeah. You think I'm you're getting dead. an exorcism? It's, it's, it's throwing it's holy water at you. I'm fucking dead. That's, I'm watching myself at my own trisagio, just getting fucking blessed. I love it. You'd absolutely <laughs> shit yourself, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> my own trisagio. That's brilliant. Oh, oh, bloody hell. I, I just finished the Papa Yanni. You know what? I forgot what it tastes like. Okay, yeah. we, 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 we just we come back. Let's Look. come back. Okay, I, I personally it's think it's that the green barbayani. It's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. You put, I, I, yani, but you put it in there because that's not that there wasn't barbayani. I know no, the no, that, no, you know the flavor of barbayani. Oh, no, that, that one is what's that? That was the previous one. To me, this is the, the upper echelon of uzo. Okay. You can't get better than barbayani. Look, obviously, right. we, we can try all of these smaller boutique distillery, distilleries around Greece and, yep. and but for you know its history and how long it's been around and also that the i mean plumati right yeah it's from plumati yep you, i don't think you can get better than baba okay Yanni. so, well, so is it really okay let's have a so, look so, so if, hang on a sec yours, hang on a sec Yanni's. i'll let I'll, I'll let you talk nick because i know because you know plum, stop. They don't, i know i don't stop they don't know you how i know you. <laughs> i look on the field i'm just like fucking and he's going running to commentary. get me a through ball. I'm going to try and just fucking hit the hole. Hit the hole. Hey, it's all about the lines. You've got to run the lines, mate. mate well, I do. Just, the ball what he tells me? He tells me like three different lines. <laughs> yeah, he I'm doesn't listen. And... So you know what happens is I became I became a bit of a, play, a boss. Yeah. And they, they're trying to call the shots. I'm going, how am I going to give the ball to you if you're calling the shots? <laughs> I've got to call the shots. But I so tell I you, I'm going to run between hat and knee guard. Yeah, but you know what? I and I start that. wide and I run in or start in and run wide. I run but, 45 degrees. But when I've got two guys, I've got fucking, I've got, I've got Siambas running this, he's calling another shot. I'm not going, no guys, you're doing this. But I know Mate, what you do. If we call the play athlete, you know what I do. Yeah, I know what he does. You know what? I, I, me and him are like this on the field. <laughs> he knows. I know. I know he's no. going to do this. Actually, we're getting to the point where I don't have to say anything. Now. He just I, I just, I just adjust to what he does. It's yeah. body language at this point. Yeah, it is. It is. So I run and I look where the hole is. And and, 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 bang, and, and so all of a sudden, I've got players that run straight and I've got players that come at angles. So yeah. I've got to hit. The, I've got to hit. Yeah. His run and try and drag the person that way because he's running on an angle. Yeah. yeah. So I've got to hit that pass and, and drag he, him that so way. Steps so. in tries to drag his guy in and I hit in you realise that all of our listeners are turning off right now <laughs> oh, okay sorry <laughs> but you gotta see Talking if, if, if we recorded strategy. it you gotta see and, our hand and, and, and yeah. do you know what I do at the beginning I just take hit ups I'm like a yeah. front row this guy's got fucking Steven. nothing and hey this all sounds very technical and very impressive but in reality you go and watch them and it's like yeah they're, they're taking one out bullshit <laughs> yeah. one, one out hit ups doing it walking <laughs> pace <laughs> let me tell you when you're playing competition it is like that it yeah. is Intense. <laughs> anyway, and the thing is, if Forty ever scores or sets up a play, you'll hear about it for the next twenty seconds. Yeah. <laughs> you will. Yeah, it's fucking the best. Fuck, yeah. I was that good in that play. Yeah. It's like it's like fucking great, great. No, uh, I don't care about setting up the play. It's about the tries. Okay, uh, but by Yanni, but by Yanni, by Yanni. Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. You're the best. I like playing. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, well, look, oh, I, good. I think I said it the last time, well, okay. at, on the barbecues Bayani. episode, right? Let's talk about Barbayani. I said that this, there's a very distinct smell that Barbayani has, and it's the green one and the blue one. Yeah. And I mean, I know this sounds ridiculous, but it's that smell that when you open your suitcase up when you come back from Greece, it's that smell. It's not smoky. It, no, it's not no, the it's smoke. It's not smoky at all. What is it? What I is don't it? know. It's a bit of a burn aftertaste, but not much. Yeah, but but I'm talking about on the nose. To be fair, I have actually smelt that Moth in balls. arak, Lebanese arak as well. So I don't know what the hell it is. I feel as though it's distinctly Greek. What's on your sheet, mate? But mate, I'm looking at my it's sheet brilliant. and it's not telling me because it's so secret. To me, it's not telling me. It's the KFC is, twelve herbs and spices, is it? So, so what does it remind Look, you of in in your life? What mm. the, as a Greek, a kid growing up in, with your Greek parents, Greek grandparents, what does it smell like? I can't put my finger on it. So, so for me. It smells like my papu, something to do yeah, with my papu. You know what it reminds me of? You know when you, you, you have know, your, right. your prika and you got all these blankets in there? Yes. Yes. It's, yes. That's what it is. So the papu, you open up. That's exactly what it is. So what, what, are they put, what are they put in there to, to get rid of the, the <laughs> mothballs? Moth moth balls. Is it mothballs? Yeah, but hang on a second. Hang on. People what does mothballs hear do? that and is they'll it? think this, this hang smells on a second. and tastes like shit. You could be honest something. What does mothballs actually do? Keep moisture away. Don't they absorb moisture? Hey, it's it's moisture. They, they, they it does. Moisture. So maybe there's something to do with that, where they oh. distill it. They might. You've hit it. the nail on the head, though. This is what it. You know, that's yeah. the kind of smell, but yeah. not in a bad way. Yeah. And you, you, sorry you, for our non-Greek. A prika is a chest. Technically, your prika is, your, is like the dowry. You know, it's the it's what's left to so, you know so, to the fam- to the individual as the, part of yeah. And you never put blankets. So like hand woven blankets. So I smelt this out of the baulo. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So the baulo, it baulo, it's baulo the, smell. It is the baulo smell yes. that you know that's come from Greece, yeah. and so. they've got rid of all the stuff they had in there, but they keep storing stuff in there. Yep, and it lacks moisture. Oh, oh sorry, it lacks o- yeah. oxygen, and so what happens is it will it will mold, <laughs> and you want to try and draw the oxygen or the moisture out of that, so you put in mothballs mm. to do that. That's so, the smell. That's the so smell. maybe Barbayani when he does this in what town is it? Oh, Plomari. Mm. Uh, does yeah. this in Mitilini. But again, I, I've got to stress this is not a bad smell. It's it, it sort no. of rubs up against that sort of feel, but it's not a bad thing by any. It's it's very. It's I've used, the, I've used the the term before. It's warming. It's it's reassuring in some respect. So so. He's gone to his sheep. I've gone to my sheep because the, the form I think guide. one thing, one thing, form we, guide. one thing we missed out, Nick, and I think because we yep. probably drank too much. Yeah, but Plumari, no, that's not true. Plumari, again, late eighteen hundreds. Mm-hmm. All the quality stuff coming mm-hmm. out of that. Um, Isodoro, Is, Iso, Isidoros, Isidoros, Asvanitis, Arvanitis. Yeah. Is it Isidoros Ar- Ar- Arvanitis? Arvanitis. I'm correcting you now. That's well, you uh, are. It's a very. So where's uh, he come from? Asia Minor. Asia Minor. So again, eighteen ninety four. Yep. So and then Baba Yani came. Baba Yani's family own it now. Okay. I don't know if there's a connection. But but again, that time, that period, eighteen sixty, Baba Yani, like that, mm. the quality that comes out of that, yeah, is 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 ridiculous. Well, I think we've got to agree that Mitilini somehow have got it right. There's they so many do. distilleries in Italy. We've already gone through a few. The fire. water, the, even if even if they're tapping into the heel seeds, yeah, you know, yeah. The, the mastica seeds. So the Mitilini distillery we've got. Uh, yeah. We've got the the Galoyani's family, the the current owners of the Plomati. So Mitilini yeah. distillery is mini, and we've got the Barbayani great grandsons. So they're in Plomati. So they, so there's three quality, I guess, in our top three, top five, yeah. Uzos in the same re- like one town. Yep. So they must know something. I think they've got definitely know something. And, and the thing is, they've got they've got museums, Plomari and Barbayani, dedicated to their their distilleries. Mm. So they should. And what they, a heritage! And they take pride. So the pride quality in all that, like so six what about generations. If Sathios Barbayani, what about his story? He started at a late age. Me. Well, he was born in the Kikladis. And he emigrated to Odessa in Ukraine. Oh, yeah. Had enough of that. As a 55-year-old, he left, went to Plomari, and that's where he started Barbayani, mm. as a 55-year-old. But before that, what did he do? 
he actually learned how to distill the Russian way. So mm. the Russians distill vodka. Mm. So he's he probably learned he's his prob- trade up there. He's yep. probably learned his trade there. He's come over. Good chance. He's come over and he's gone. Well, do you know what? Like I'm Greek. I want. I want I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm going to produce. I've got. I've got. I've actually got. Um, a, an off product of wine or whatever it is, and I'm going to make this thing. And he's got his. He's, yeah. he's nailed his own recipe, on that. Yeah. And. Oh. Anyway, so no, so so, so we continue we, on, but we'll, so we had go, we had forty from green to blue so, now. Yeah, so the the green's forty two percent, the blue's forty three percent. Okay, so this is the highest alcohol content we've had tonight. We're about to have forty three percent, the blue. So look, barbayani. Yes, I don't know what it is. I understand what you're saying, Tom. It's like a baulo smell when you open up the baulo, which is a, a chest that uh, the Greek immigrants brought over. So we're going from green to blue, like we just said. Now, which is what another two, three percent alcohol. That's so an extra percent. Extra percent. There's one. Do you? Where are um, you, Stephen? I'm actually coming. I'm feeling good now. The smell. I'm feeling amazing. But yeah. the. Do you reckon the, the smell? smell? It's the better. I died in the alcohol. ass the first three or four. We're up to what ten now. I'm actually. I've do you, do you ever hear? Did I miss anyone? Do you sometimes Pause ever it. listen to music and you hear a certain song and we're talking about? Good music. We're talking about like, you know, Rebetica. Yep. Music from that era, and uh, you hear a specific song, and something about it just makes you think of your papu. Yeah. Sure. And you, like and you Andy picture Gazzan them in Zidi their song. yeah, or any Gazan Zidi song. <laughs> if and you, uh, and you think about them in their their slacks with their their black loafers and their their knitted polo top with a with a jacket with, over the shoulders with a jacket yeah. over the shoulders and uh, I don't know the smell just makes me think of that it's that it mm. is that mm. the mothballs <laughs> good mothballs good mothballs it's, it's it probably is. the best smelling one now so, so for me when me and Stavro 56 epi- uh, 53 episodes ago <laughs> we're in here do you see why I keep saying the number it's, I know it's why I keep saying it you fucks for uh, ignoring us for so long you have to invite us back pretty soon at least once a year we're, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to we'll make it a yearly thing so we so we, we so what happened that, that day was you guys opened my eyes to Plumati uh, that Baba Yanni sorry Baba, Baba Yanni Yanni. so, yeah, so right. you had to. you had green you had blue and you had a gold version. Yeah, the gold Lim- one. Uh, that was your week. We, you, do you remember? You know what the alcohol content was on there? Forty six percent. Yeah, forty six. He remembers. Yeah, <laughs> and it was a limited edition version yeah. they brought out. Have you still got one of those? No, no. Okay. So I, I, I went and what happened you was can't, you can't get it anymore. No, no. What happened was I ended up. Do you remember? I bought four bottles. Mm. I said I'll drink three and keep one for safekeeping. Yeah, and I got to the fourth and I went, "Ah, fuck it." <laughs> Wasn't safe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's, that was the problem here. Just did. No, nah, look, yeah, and, and, and look, the other Blumati, uh, the other Barbayani, why do I say Blumati? You know, you know why I say Blumati? Because Cause it's from it, there. It's, it's from, from Blumati. It's made in Blumati. Blumati's a town. I've got to say, they have got a passion and culture for yeah. Uzo. Mm. And you could say right now, since what, the late 1800s, yeah. they are the center of Uzo. Couple of the, the best quality Uzo you'll 100%. get in the world. The town of Plumati. Is it? Town of Plumati. So Plumati Beach. Is cool? There's Plumati Beach, Plumati, and it's the south of Mitilini. What's Is there a beach? South of Lesbos. There? Yeah. You think of Lesbos, the native population is is relatively decent, but it's been very influenced by immigrants from Asia Minor. Yeah. And I think what we can say from the Uzo that we've drunk tonight is how much of an influence the uh, population from Asia Minor has put on Greece. Mm. Everything, I mean, Uzo, music, our culture, our dance styles, everything. They've really left their mark on, on Uzo. Mm. Not just Uzo, they, they've left their mark on us as, mm. as a race and, and as, a, as a people culturally. It's, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Great call. Look, yeah. if it wasn't for Asia Minor, maybe we wouldn't have had the bazooki. We wouldn't have had Uzo. That's why Definitely I was thinking about it. They're about this. Mm. They were criminals for a very long time, weren't they? They, well, they were. They were treated like absolute criminals by the government. And you listen to the Betica. Now it's synonymous with, you know, you think about the, the Greek holiday, what kind of music is playing in the background? Very, you know, very softly in the background. Yeah, yeah. You think about you're sitting in a place with, with vine leaves overgrown, yeah. beautiful view, you've got beautiful seafood in front of you, Uzo. Yeah, like us now. Well, into the uh, 50s and, and, and maybe even the 60s, the cops were going around and breaking 
the rebetes argileves and the bouzouka and the baglamadas. What were they smoking? They were targeting. They were smoking. No, that was opium. The good stuff. The good stuff. Smoking anise by the sounds of it. Definitely not a niece. <laughs> um, you know what? My, my respect to uh, yeah. the immigrants of Asia Minor. They've um, they've left a very they very. Ones. They got they copped a hard time. Beautiful. So, look, they did. They did cop. They suffered. Yeah, even when they, they were treated happens. as proper immigrants. I remember listening to a. You've heard the song. There's a cousin Zidi song, where he actually sings in um, Turkish. No, 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 not Turkish. He sings in. in um, one of the dialects of Asia Minor. Oh, uh, yeah. What's it called? Trapezunda. Uh, it's a, it's a generalized Pondiagar dialect. Pondia. Yeah. But you know, one of the famous lines he says um, mm. is, "Where we were from, we were Greeks." He yeah. goes, "But we arrived in Greece, and we were foreigners." Yeah. You think about that. They though. did go through a hard time. Yeah. That's that's similar. I'm not trying to equate what they went through to the migrant experience of you know your parents, our grandparents. Or I know whatnot, what you're going to say. It's that whole thing about whenever we go back to Greece. Oh. 100%. You go there, irthe afstra losh, and you come back here and you're the Greek. Yeah. Or the Wog. So Kate, you're Kate a foreigner FTR. everywhere. Is up in Australia, yeah. Oh, my nickname is afstra losh. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's just the way people know. We, yeah. we, do, we don't belong anywhere, do we? No. And, and you know what? That's why I think the uh, there's a growing um, call for the, for the Greek Australian culture to be just uh, officially recognized by the Greek government. I actually read an article about that a few, a few really? weeks ago. Yeah, so that, what are they that, saying? So, you know, you've got all different types of sub-ethnic groups of, of of Greeks, correct? You know, the Greek Australian and the Greek American and the yep. Greek Canadian um, uh, culture should be uh, considered an almost a a cultural group within itself. Yeah. Well, it is very unique. The truth mm. is, it and is also the way unique. we speak. We've got to go is this the color? <laughs> Uh, Rufi, Caro, Rufi, Rufi, Caro, Caro. <laughs> Semi Jules, Semi well, you know, you know uh, Frieza, Frieza. No, you know he's, he's, he's something that's a Greek Australian word, but he's actually a Greek word. Aftokinido. Imagine you went back to Greece and used the word Aftokinido no. instead, instead of Maxi. Instead of Maxi. I use Caro. Or, or Maxi, right? Caro. But if you use Caro, you get. Caro's okay. like a horse and cart. That's a proper Greek Australian word. But my point is, if you use the word Aftokinido, here they yeah. used Aftokinido. Yeah. Because you think about when our grandparents came over back then, yeah. it was a lot more formal. They would call a car an uh, automobile. Yeah. Well, you, I copped it too. Mean? I know exactly what you mean, because I copped it too when I was in there in 95. <clears throat> I was at a... Uh, I just got off a bus and I was waiting for my cousins to pick me up. I said, where are you? And I said, oh, I'm just sitting here at the bus stop. I said, I'm sitting on the Hortari. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> grass. <laughs> I thought it means I'm sitting on the grass. And they're pissing themselves laughing. And, they say, and I go, what do you think I like that? What's funny? And they go, when, we, when you say hortari that way, it's like where the, it's like a cow paddock. <laughs> That's how they see it. <laughs> and, oh, okay. But um, yeah, and they said, oh, they use another word for park. But um, yeah, hortari for them means like a cow paddy. I thought it just means mm. I'm sitting on grass. Yeah. But yeah, I know what you mean. Horafi. Horafi. No, if you're sitting on the grass, well, it's still gazon. It's because, ah, gazon. 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 supposed to say. Fuck, I wouldn't have known that. Sit on the gazon, mate. Mm. So let's get back to episode three of this uh, whole uh, Uzo talk. So we have, in, in, actually, every, how many, let's talk about the blue. No, no, look, I'm going to get back to the Uzo for a sec because we, we've... Uh, just, just, just to finish this off, right? And we've gone deep now. Yeah, no, so... Oh, let's so get deeper. We will get deeper. Let's just finish this off, then we'll go deep. I'm back so, to So that gold, I think the blue is better. Really? For me... The blue is my favourite. Mm. But I got excited when you were going to bring the Aphrodite. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I saw it I today. I couldn't find it. I found it. Where? I saw it today. At, at, I saw it somewhere. And um, I thought, that no, you're getting it. I'll let it go. If I knew. No, I because, next because time, I missed is it. Is that so the red one? No, no. It's, no, it's, it's black. It's just you got a, it's black with a photo of oh, Aphrodite. Yeah. And, and, and that's 48% alcohol. Yeah. Right. Oh, that, and for that. me, that would have been... Something the, awesome. It probably would have been the closest to that special edition, I reckon. Yeah. See, yeah, Barbayani, in, since we did that episode, Barbayani's come out with a box set. Right. You can buy all of these. So, the blue, the green, the red, the black. I, I can't remember which other one it was. There wasn't gold. Gold was limited edition. No, no, no. Yeah. So, it's definitely not the gold one. You can get them all in one box set. Wow. Effectively. 
I've never tried the red one. Have you had it, Stephen? Red? The red one. I, I didn't even know red existed. No, nah, neither did I. One. I sent you a picture of it. When? It was a while back. I checked I my message. Oh, you know what? I delete your messages when you send me <laughs> Of course you do. <laughs> Corfu B. <laughs> Let me have a look. Hey, what? Corfu B. Hey, Cor- is it Corfu Red? Yeah, the red one. Yeah, the red the red best. One. My be- That's my favourite. You the remember? Best. That's what I told you about when it. You said the red. best. Uh, that is the best beer I've ever had. Mm, yeah. Quality. And I, I've, I've, I went to a... Uh-huh. You're not even from there. <laughs> yeah, I saw this. Yeah, see? You're that's married to it. That's gorgeous. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's, bo- after, that's after the... the that's that, is, uh, that is an amazing colour bottle and box. Look at that. Isn't that oh gorgeous? Oh, my gosh. How, oh, but how do you drink that? You won't drink it. You can't. No, you can't. Th- there are whiskeys that I've got at home. That are four hundred, five hundred dollar bottles really? that I do not touch. Yep. Have you had a sip? I've had a sip of the three hundred dollar one, but I'm 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 I've vowed. It's it's actually Australian. No, Sullivan's Tasmania. Cove. Uh, okay. Tasmania oh, Sullivan's yeah. Cove. I'm not got a Sullivan Cove. Sullivan's Cove with this much in it. <laughs> Sitting at home. There, there's there's a there's <laughs> this much in it. Literally my, this much in it. My, my two hundred fifty dollar yeah. bottle, which is the there's the, there's a that's the entry level. Yeah. Um, so when I went down there, you you um, you can buy you can buy a bottle. It's four hundred dollars. Mm. It's any bottle you can buy. You, if you want to purchase any bottles, it is um, you have to join a ballot. And you'd be lucky to get it. Okay. Yeah. So my wife won, mm. and my f- she put it under my father-in-law one. I've never won. So I've got these yeah. bottles that are being gifted to me. Yeah. Because I know how much I love it. That's how my, that's how my missus got it. She she put a name down for the ballot and she won it. So did it go? You win. You win the chance to buy. You, you win don't chance win. to buy. It's yeah. just a queue. You essentially get put in a queue. Yeah. So, right. so twice like that. So the guy that uh, watched Mundine. Yep. Yep. He came over this um, over, over summer. He never liked whiskey until we got him on the Beautiful. good stuff. Beautiful. Yeah. And so my god brother George, he ended up the guy from Scotland. He tried the Octomore. He fell asleep. The pub the bar. Yep. <laughs> He pulled out a Sullivan's Cove. We were going to the opera bar. Pulled it out in the car. And we are drinking. He goes, I've done a sunset. I've done a sunset. Really? And he just goes, this is so easy to drink. Yeah. Why is whiskey like this? And that, like, that whole whiskey culture, the whole industry, like, it's amazing. Yeah. Like, I, I look, for me... Um, that's a whole episode in itself. It, for me, it's I, a series. It is. it is. You could do a series on yep. each country. Yeah. Right. So yeah. the journey right now is is this. Yeah. And yeah. I've got to say, um, I'm ready for one, one more. more one more opportunity. Yeah. Go blue. Go blue again. So, so let's 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 go back to Baba Yanni. You know what? You talk a lot. I forgot to taste what it tastes like. Let's go back to Baba Yanni and try it with ice. Okay. Go for it. Let's do it. You know, both I, of them. Can I, I get? I want, I want. I want the green one. You want the green do you know? One? I think this comparison. is the first time I've actually ever had blue. Uh, we've yeah, had we've green had and platinum. We've had green and platinum. The, the blue for me. I'm pretty sure we did have the blue. The uh, blue for me. The so mothball. Okay. Aroma. The moth, are we really going to see with the bottle? Oh, Can't no, we find it something is. more appealing? I know. I can't think of anything it, better it's, though. It's, it's, it's uh, pretty accurate for me. It's got to be a combination of herbs or something. The combination of aromas. Oh, you know what it is. Okay. And ingredients. When they bring the paolo over, they put leaves in it. There's, yeah. a, there's a certain leaf in it. I've got to ask my mum. The good leaf? I don't know what it is. Not bay leaf, but there's a leaf in there, and they, apparently that's what these use before. Eucalyptus, mate. That's what Aussies use, yeah. but in Greece, bringing it over to stop the mould. No. Might be pine. I don't know. I'll it's find out. Because it could be that good. smell. Mm. It could be, actually. Yeah. And I've looked at it, I go, Mum, there's leaves here. She goes, yeah, that's what we do. And apparently it absorbs moisture. It makes sense. So if there's anyone so, out there... So why do we say mothballs? Because we sort of grown up with that. Is it... Probably it's not mothballs. Look, at the end of the day, it's something that's homely. Mm. It's a homely kind of smell somehow. So it's the homely part. I, and it feels comfortable. Yeah. You feel, you feel like you are happy. Yep. yep. And relaxed. I agree, you know, and, and oh. for me, for me, drinking is you. You want it, You it's 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 an out mm. from your life, and you want to relax a bit. I'm not relaxed right now. You're trying to massage me. But <laughs> I want to hear um, what he's arousing you. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, he's, he's, you he's, get really touchy feely. I when do. He does. Hey, it's hey, good as long as it doesn't hey, get violent. It's part of the football <laughs> environment. You know, I do. I get very handsy, happy, handsy. Yeah. No. Um. 
Yeah, yeah. like for, for me... Fantastic. Let's talk about the, the blue now. Too no, no. You, so, so you want to go and relax. Mm, and part yeah. of it's relaxing. So and, I'm trying to relax you. And so, what, <laughs> so let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back to the f- what Uzo is. We're nearly two and a half hours into this. Yeah. yeah. So let's get back to what... Hey, you're let's get back to the beginning. Kind of let's get back to the beginning, right? <laughs> so what did Campari buy Yeah. Uzo? What did they buy? What did they buy Uzo for? I don't know, they wanted to add to the uh, Apetit range. Apetit range. So, would you have the Bud Bayani as an Apetit? For me, no. Okay. I've got to have another sip. No. <laughs> for me, that's a digestive. Di- for dry. me, that's a digestive. You know what? It's, it's dry. True. It's, it is, it's dry. You, you can't have that as an Apetit. It's too dry. It's not sweet enough. For I, 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 would, I would go that as a finish. For me, that, that is a it's digestive. After dinner drink. Yeah, digestive. For me, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm content. I can drink this. Uh, I've got to say, when we had that the last time, we had it in a very large amount. <laughs> but that gave me a very different kind of hangover, yeah. let's say. Tom, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think it was episode three no, no, of, it your, wasn't a hangover. of your series. For me, it was a hangover. Yeah, it was. Tom, Tom was loose. And um, it, was, it was episode three of the, of the series, and he was pretty excited because he, him and Nick have... Uh, you should, you should see the talk. outtakes of Nick from that episode. <laughs> <laughs> he was. In- <laughs> you want to talk loose? Yeah. <laughs> it was brilliant. Oh mate. Oh yeah. yeah. We've been very well behaved. Yeah, because I'm eating. That's why. <laughs> it's like, shut up, Nick. Don't <laughs> just put something if it, in your mouth. Give me if, food. If you want to paint up. a picture, Nick has literally got an entire fillet of some form of fish. And he's just... I thought it was salmon, it. but it's not salmon. It's not no, salmon, it's, no. It could be barramundi no. or hockey It's probably barramundi. I think it's barra. Octopus is gone. I'm working on the calamari. Mate, we've we'll made short work of all this food. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm going to do the prawn stuff this. Yeah, you know, I've been on and off the king prawn. Nah, look. look <sighs> Thanks, meet the Greek again. Meet the Greek. All right, boys. Look to your... Look to the wards of the window. Look at that. We've... Yeah, we've made all these. Nick, should we do the honours? Nick, what's your favourite? Can we pull out a top three? Yeah. Top three. I'm Let's thinking top three, then we'll get to a top one. Yeah. This time around, I don't know. I change, I fluctuate. You've got to pick one of the Baba Yanis. This, this time, same mini, still, so, yeah. mini, and this might be too strong now for me. I'm tossing up between blue and green. But mini stood out. I think I'm standard. The 35N Blumati Mini Baba Yanni. But if I had to pick, say, two... I think Mini's just gone up a couple of notches for me this yeah. time round. I don't know why. Interesting. I don't know why. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe because of the food. It complements the food. Uzo. Uh, sorry, Mini. That I've, the only time I've ever eaten it in... Uh, sorry. Oh, shit. The only <laughs> it's time, gone. The only time I've ever had Uzo Mini in Greece is always at a seafood joint. Yeah. In the Nisya. Ah. It's always a seafood joint in the Nisya. Yeah. That's what probably thick it goes well. I think because you've been smacking the of fish course. and the. Yeah. Got <laughs> It's just been elevated. <laughs> I, th- I think that's probably why you've enjoyed yeah. it the most yeah, because you, it just yeah. goes well with what you're eating. Yeah. The fish Look. was a good choice. Yeah. And they're <laughs> all good. I can't. The only really one was the. Actually, we haven't had this one. Oh, do you want to do it? No. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Do you want to do it? We've, come, hey, we've gone to this journey. We've you know had twelve. What? Let's start. Let's, a, let's start a bonfire in the backyard. With it. <laughs> <laughs> I think hey, we'll burn bright in there. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> how many gold medals does it look like it's got? Or is that the Hamas? That's, that's, that's mate. The, they're not fucking no. medals. <laughs> and if they're medals, it's bullshit. Let's try it. Come on, boys. He wants let's to try let's it. Finish off. Do, should we say what it is? Yeah. Should we say it? Yeah. What about eso? I've got no research on that. I have no point. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. All right. So we've gone to the top of Mount Everest. I mean, this this is a bad idea in the sense that oh, look how much he's fucking put. Well, I think, do I have to? Steve started the theme. Come on, we do talked about to? going down here. So we're going to start shit. We're, go, we're going. Shit. We've been up the top of Mount Everest with the blue and the Barbayani. Just we're have gonna a go, sip. We're going to go downhill again. Have a sip and let's get. Fuck, that's a lot. That's the only way to get rid of it. A sip. That's a shot. Mate, just use it to wash your windows. <laughs> Fuck me. Hey guys, um, when you try this. <laughs> okay. March twenty fifth was only not too long it's ago. It's so not too bad. Let's just let's just. Oh fuck off! Let's just. Obs- uh, Is it really? It must be Andres because you know twenty fifth of March was recently. Let's think yeah. about them yeah. and just swallow our pride and do it. Okay, hello, hello. hello. Give <laughs> it a go. It's Let's not try. the worst. All right, so I've just put some water in. You guys are going in. Yeah, no, Steve, disgusting face. So Steve, you. Just, it's you, like you're ready to spit. So it out. Steve okay. scold that. So I wouldn't scold that. Okay, let me tell you. All right. It's not. Uh, it's I mean, not it, might, it might be the fact that we've had so many 
But it's not as bad as I remember it. Yeah, the truth so. is. So, look, my throat's numb, <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's probably why it was. Is that why you're slurring? To, yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. That's, 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 that's why it was easy to go down. Boy, oh, I put in a lot of water. Numb. Look at that. But you did scull it. It didn't cloud up at all. Yeah, I put a lot of water in there. It's fake. It's not real uzo. It's fake uzo. It's not fake sugar. It's not licorice. There's nothing, nothing embracing about it. Nothing enticing about it. Plain. Actually, it feels, it feels light. Maybe I put too much water in. Hey, your mum bought me a bottle of that. Who did? Your mum. My mum? I'll get a look. <laughs> Why? Your, your mum bought me a bottle of that, right? Why did she I do swear that? I swear to God. Oh, no, no. This was uh, for Christmas. Your mum bought me a bottle of that. Again, I why? Opened, <laughs> I opened up uh, your Phil Harry's uh, cupboard. Yeah. I said to uh, Phil Harry, I go, I'll give you this bottle. Yeah. But I want to take that. And inside the uh, thing, he had a bottle of Flumati, just yeah. pure Flumati. He goes, what's the difference? I go, oh, I just prefer the taste of this one, but this one's more expensive. <laughs> so you're bullshitting to him straight out. He's like, oh, I don't give a fuck. Just take it. <laughs> you know, he listens to this. <laughs> he <laughs> listens to this in the car. I, I, do you know what? Let me, let me tell you, if he listens to this, he's, he's, it's got an effect on him because... <laughs> I've just oh, It's repeating on me We've just said that I, It's repeating it's, on me Right it's now it's fucking shit mate So but for this all Can I tell mate, you boys. So I, I, I had, I've got heartburn now I had, Because of that look, I was fine Look I was okay When I had Nick's fish Whatever it was <laughs> And and drank it with that So Nick's it was actually there. okay Because it took the hit Then I had it again And it just went There's no, no smell Yeah No flavour And then it hits The palate harsh Yeah So it's probably The worst of them okay. You, know, the uh, you, you might be su- yep. yeah, she won't be surprised. Mm. You got three guesses. Where do you think this is made from? And we've already mentioned it. Where? Australia. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Where it, it I would say can it's I can I pick the uh brewer or distiller? You can, but I don't know where it is. Oh, you don't know what it is? No. But I'm gonna say it's part of the I think it's private Carlton isn't it? Group. Okay, that's what Acropolis is, isn't it? Carlton United Group. No, it's not. That's uh, Foster's. It was just, isn't that is it? owned by Carlton? You know, is that Foster's? Yeah. Okay, come on, Tell us. Where is okay, it says Camperdown. Uh, Babu. Oh, that's Camperdown Cellars. Yeah. So it's an again Australian made. Apparently got coriander, cloves, cinnamon. It says a, a star of anise, but that's all fucking lies. That's anise. Bullshit. Anise. Anise. Sorry, anise. <laughs> Sorry, anise. <laughs> anus. Well, anus. Eh. But about us all, we're very sorry. <laughs> we. we <laughs> it's it's simply not to our palate. Yeah, no. no look, look, it's it's well, an it acquired taste. We it's felt like that taste. with Acropolis, and guess what? We're putting that with Acropolis now. Look, to be fair, there are I know a lot of people who do like it, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Everything that we've tried to uh, that yeah. we've tried tonight, and everything that we've commented on, it's our individual yeah. opinion. Yeah, so absolutely. So by no means are we saying that any of these bottles are mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. Oh, so, so there are some that we, that we so, just so prefer. I prefer my pref- my preference. Yeah. My top four. Yeah. Is Barbayani Blue, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Plumadi, because mm-hmm. of that rounded taste yep. that mm, finished that salt. Finish. Yeah. Um, the thirty five. Yeah, yep. that's up there. And Bilavas, because okay. of the innovative mm. layers in that. Mm. And I wouldn't mind going back to those. I'm sure you will straight up. I will. I will <laughs> Look, I think, yeah, once the episode's over. Right, what about you, Stack? I would go Baba Yanni. Which uh, one? The blue or green. I, okay. I actually think they're on I par. Think similar. I, th- I think they're very similar. They're one was a bit more potent than the other. but It's a very slight alcohol difference. But 1%. Yeah, um, 1%. I'd go the 35 and the Lazarish. Yeah, wow, okay. Mm. I was very surprised by the Actually, Lazaris. sorry, not the Palavas, it was the Lazaris. Yeah, the Lazaris. Sorry, I got, the, I got it wrong. It was the Lazaris. The innovative flavours within that was amazing. Mm. So I think, yeah, me, me and Forte are pretty much on par with the... Well, um, it makes yeah. sense. They're the new age uh, Uzos, you know, new next generation. But, yeah, that's, that's, I think but that's also the, the old with, age. Yeah. Yeah. It's the yeah. old Baba age Yanni. versus the new age. Yeah. Baba Yanni is 160 years old. It's 160 years old. So is So is Plumati. So is Plumati. We, you know, you respect the the, the old um, distillery and what they still produce. It's, yeah. it's, it's the recipes and all it that, can't yeah. be matched. Mm-hmm. But yeah. you also respect the new guys coming along. Right, that we'll are, go that to Tom. The then we're going to go around the grounds again. Tell us what surprised you the most out of yeah. all of them. Okay. So, Tom. Well, for me, I'm going to take a slightly different approach because we all know that Barbayani is good. To yeah. me, that Barbayani are the outliers in this situation because yeah. that's the real. It's obvious that that's the premium one in, uh, in the, out of the whole batch. Yeah. 
I'm looking at it more from an everyday drink, mm-hmm. right? So what am I going to have? What would I be happy to have in the cupboard all the time to That's say, a good point. this is what I'm drinking. Before right? a meal, after a meal or after work. Well, just and, in general. And yeah. with guests and everything guests. else. Exactly. Yeah. So for mine, again, the 35N is fantastic. That would definitely be one of them Yeah. for mine. Blomati because to me, that is the standard. Staple. Yeah. That is the staple that, that everyone needs. Uh, and that is the essence of Ujo in its purest form, I think. And then also, Foti, to your point, the Lazaris as well. And again, not because it's from Corfu, but no. the complexity of the flavor in that and the cleanliness of that of that drop, you can buy into that. And it's not so, it's not so clever that it's overpowering. It's yeah. really, you know, it's, it's genuinely a really good drop. So those three would be my picks. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So you've basically gone with me and Stavro and you've taken out the... Uh, the Barbayanis. <laughs> but, yeah. and, what, and again, that's not to put Barbayani down by no. any means. No, no. If anything, it elevates and, it because and, it's the premium and, one. And, and, and if you were, the Barbayani, if you were to have a special event, yep. you'd pull that one out. Mm-hmm. You're marrying your kids, for example. You know, your daughter's mm-hmm. getting married. Mate, mate, you're putting that on your table. You go the Aphrodite, mate. That's, <laughs> that's, that's it. it. <laughs> oh, hundred what about yourself? Play. Yeah, uh, didn't I mention mine? No, no, let's go again. Let's go again. Uh, look, mini Reminder. was mini was a big surprise for me. I thought I had plumati before I tasted everything. It was going to be barbayani and plumati uh, and everything else. Uh, Bill of around the middle, but uh, mini surprised me the most. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'll put that now probably above a plumati now after really? today. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why. It maybe Stavros hit the nail on the head. Maybe because I had it with seafood. So, it is a great bottle. Yeah, Nick, it Nick, is. Did, Nick, Nick, Nick took out about three fish, a couple of sharks, and a whale. So I'm um, after <laughs> shark fins <laughs> turning into a whale. But uh, look, Barbayani definitely is the standard. Like, sometimes it's the hype because we always talk about it. So I've got to say, I've got to talk about it. But um, but it actually did say it did taste good. <laughs> but my surprise packet, I thought is going to be really shit. But Uzo Twelve surprised me. It's mm. not as shit as really? I thought it would be. Yeah. I thought it'd be say. really crap. I thought it was going to be down the. Actually, butter butter wasn't that bad, but it, it was bad, no, mate. It, the only reason you're saying that is because your throat's numb. You don't have any taste buds left. <laughs> no palate. No, 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 no,
that surprised mm. me. I've okay. got to say, like in that, in, when, yeah. when we Good call first out. poured that after the uh, the uh, Acropolis, that you're right, Stavro, that blew me away mm. because it even had my dad going, oh, yeah, I got them five years ago from Audi. Um, <laughs> so it actually <laughs> brought it down a notch from my level, like notches. It was down the bottom. Yeah. My expectations were like not at all. And it was from an entry level perspective, probably that you're right. That there, you'd probably go to Zeus Huzor. Yeah. Mm. If we were going out for a night, if we're going to the Buzuki or something, I reckon the Uzo 35N would be the one. For uh, at the Buzuki? No, if we're going out. No, if it was uh, a young, young kid's drink. drinks. If young kids, kids yeah, boys, yeah, we're going yeah. out and have a couple of drinks. No, that no. will get you in the mood. But but, but if, if, if if your kids were get, wanted, I want to try Uzo. I would be going for the thirty-five N. Because that's a, okay, that's a great way to look yes. at it. If you were trying to introduce someone to Uzo, don't you think it's which of these are you picking? I'm going thirty-five N because really, the, it's sharp and finishes mm. the the actual taste. And they're, they're not regurgitating that aniseed flavour. Yeah, yeah, correct. Because that's what people associate. They regurg- They start burping and they... Ooh, and they're burning uh, in their stomach and everything else where, where the 35N, because... Doesn't burn of, your throat afterwards. Yeah, and I, I put it back down to, are they gin distillers? Mm. Come quite, what, what, what we talked about, right? Yeah. So, so it comes down to the way they produce the alcohol. Mm. And the way that great alcohol production... And the way that they, they filter it and everything else, the way we taste it today, yep. was like when I talk about, so Mithilini, there's nothing synthetic about it. No, yeah. so Mithilini was a flat line. Good call. Blumati was rounded, where thirty five N just dropped. Yeah, like from from the finish, like that, you could just go, yeah, I've had it, I've yeah. tasted the Uzor, it's gone. Yeah, and yeah. kids just go, yep, yeah, I've tasted Uzor, I'm done. All right, yeah. let's go next. <laughs> yeah. I might just want to have a fucking like a. Like a um, when we say kid, a kid that's the legal age to drink, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're talking 18, 20, 16, 21, yeah. 22. Or 12 and older in, in Greece. Beautiful boys, but yeah, right. look, that's a, that's a great that's a great way to, to sort of finish Good it. I think, yeah. yeah, guys, we've been through I don't know how many bottles, don't even bother counting it. One, There's two. A lot. I'm, I'm, I'm going back count. for my top four. You're going to get oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, oh, you're yeah. I'm going for another journey. Okay, beautiful. How many, Nick? Okay, we've had 12. Okay, 12, no, 13. Because we had the, the, the dirty Baba Yeah, that's, that's part that's of part it. That's part of it? Okay. Beautiful. We've got a tip or hiding behind here. We, we're not counting it. Even though that's we're not just, look, for anyone listening at home, our palate cleanser was the tip Well, look, that, I so feel be like... Generous, <laughs> be, be, be gentle with us when you listen, listen back to this, okay? I feel like this is a pretty good innings, right? Absolutely. We've, uh, I think we've covered this comprehensively. We've done a service to humanity by doing all of these taste tests back to back. So can Take, I say something we took else? One for the team. Yeah, because there's going to be people out there. There's actually more Uzzles out there. Yeah, hundred percent. Six hundred. And there's, that we know there's, of. there's two that that are sitting on the bench there that we didn't try. And and what is it? That's I can't true. Turn around. There's the Kataros or there's oh, the yeah. Bilavas, the refined Bilavas. I feel like we need to try the Kataros. And let's, there's let's Samos. Do it. There's let's Samos. Do it. Go on. Go, go get it. it. Go get it. The, the, the refined one. Let's do it. Come on, we can't make it thirteen though. We've got to do fourteen. There's Kataros too next to it. So no, there's, it, there's it, also one up, I was about to... This, bo- this episode is going to go for three hours. Oh, we're happy to have a can Probably, of worms but, here. but really there up. was one Uzo that I was about to buy. Yeah. And guess where it's from? And it's pretty good quality. Go on. Samos. No, where, where, is the, where is the best Uzo made? Lesbos. Okay, Lesbos. Mithilini. Yeah. yeah. It's a mit- Veto. Veto Uzo. Okay. It comes in a, in a, in a still, still bottle. Okay, Katsaros. The, the oldest Uzo distillery in the world, 1856, it says here. They, right. they, this one, they, they, make a, they make a really good chip roll. You know, Katsaros, the black label. We thought we were wrapping up. That's these guys. We're still going. This, we're, we're, again, we're performing a service here. Look, out of respect to one of our favorite chip rolls, I think we need to try yeah. the Uzo. Katsaros. Katsaros. True? Katsaros. True? True. We're doing yes. this. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Year. I can't wait. This so what, what, it's so like a, you, you know what this like, is? You look it's like you need a glass of water. So what's, what's the I percentage of alcohol? This is like this a Greek goodbye. Yeah. You know percentage they, of alcohol? You know they never this is leave. 38%. Okay. And we're not so, leaving this table. I dare. So from, from an alcohol content perspective, it's the lowest, mm. one of the lowest we've had. Yeah. What are, what are we at? The 38%. 38%. So. Okay. Yamas. Yamas. So on the nose, 
There is not much anise. It's beautiful. It's smooth. actually pretty clean. That's, That's very, very smooth. smooth. Very smooth. The Take the bottle. That's very smooth. That's easy to drink. Oh, I can't even read it. That one was forty nine ninety nine. Fifty bucks. That's not bad. That. That is not bad. It sits, but it's not strong. There's no sugar. Yeah. No. And it just sits on the, on the palate. Beautiful. And the finish lingers though. Mm. I like but it's but it, but it, it's like a curve that drops. Yeah. So the it, it it's actually not bad. Hmm. It's actually not bad. I don't mind this. I don't mind it. Okay. Out of, out of the twelve you had, you'd probably put that in the top. Open the other one. Ten. Is this the same? I think it's the same, isn't it? Uh, just for the acropolis. Oh, is that just a pill of us? But in a should special, we try? Special bottle. Is it? Oh, should we open it? Yeah, open it. Wait here. Oh, we got to yeah, go only four. Four. once. We got to get fourteen. Oh, it's the shape of a Parthenon pile. <laughs> it's the shape of a Corinthian column. That tell me that's not oh, that's the same thing. That's Bilava. Yeah, but I, what does it say on the top? It's, got, it it's the, the same thing. Nectar. Does it say Pilava? Stavro, nectar? it's the same thing. You're right. Pilavas. For me, I guess it's, it's the, the same thing. It's the same thing. Thoma, we're gonna call you Thoma for the rest of the episode. So, so, so um, oh, just, the, the Bilava. Oh, yeah. There's a couple of versions of it. There is the one that looks like a normal bottle and there's one that looks like the Acropolis column. That's what Nick's opening up right now because Stephen's absolutely every fucked. Greek... My back hurts so much I can't lean forward anymore so I really need to hold this microphone. It's because we've been sitting here back. for three hours. So so you haven't drank enough because you wouldn't... Because this is like a... Uh, this is like a Voltaire. It's inflammatory. You know what it is? The I cardamom. Think, I think my never has just been destroyed by... Uh, what the hell is this uh, bottle? Oh, shit. That's a massive... It is, a, 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 it is the Greek Acropolis column. That is a piss yeah. take of a bottle. That is an absolute just piss take. A quick splash. Just a just little bit. A splash there. That's 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 there. I don't like it because there's enough scaffolding on it, so... Oh, that's <laughs> oh, the The Cypriot's yeah, coming out. <laughs> Right. It tastes pretty similar. That's not much. Come on, mate. Well, how oh. many how many uzos have I had in yeah, one glass? Like, try this one as well. You, right, you, do, you do the AB test for this. Holy fuck. What? Uh, that's sweet. We are just descending into fucking chaos. That's a bit different. That's a different taste. No, you have to I'm, remember this is a democracy, okay? Everyone needs to fucking listen to everyone else on the, the table. Cor- the Corinthian column. We need to calm down. of us is... Hey, Stavros, so I'm, just, I'm only just peaking right now. This is my... Uh, I mean, my element. Um, so, so is that the same thing? So I, I haven't. It's different. It's no, it's the same. So I'm telling you, it's the same. It's a, it's a burning taste afterwards. Because uh, that's not something different that I've had. Like, you want to oh, confirm it? Des- <laughs> so so on <laughs> the nose. Hey, go so on the nose, it's it. the same. It smells like chlorinini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the nose, right now, it smells like chlorinini. Shit. All right. A bit of chlorine. Yep. It is the same. It is the same. Ah oh, shit, that's the wrong bottle. That's what I used to clean the toilets with. Ah, uh, oh man. <laughs> yeah, it's got that lingering taste that you don't. Talking like. the mic, yeah. You got the lingering taste that you don't like. The editor's gonna get mad. I know, it's poor editor. Anyway, <laughs> nobody cares about me. No, <laughs> fuck him, <laughs> mate. Two p.m. before release. Fucking hell, this is the hardest episode I've ever had to fucking edit. <laughs> Stop breathing into the mic, Nick. <laughs> Hey guys, it's the same. That hasn't happened for ages, actually. It's the I'm same, not. but if you drink it back to back, the second one tastes worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like, telling. Oh, that's shit. telling. It's not better the second time. <laughs> no, right? it's not. You're like going after all the I've had. The bottle looks good, but that's why it. have I ended on that shit? Okay, well, look, we can't leave it there. Nah. Let's think... have it. Let's have one final sip of something we actually like. Okay. No, nah. everyone right. has their choice. On, I'm everyone has hey. a choice. Got a text message here. I'm nice. gonna go back to the Lazaro. Because really? it was so long ago that I want to try it. Bring the Lazaris. Here we go. Come on. Hang on. Only you can have it because that's all we've got left. Okay. <laughs> that's it. Takalo uh, I'll, I'll donate it to the Ulzer Talk. I'm happy to do that. <laughs> no problem. Uh, when I buy, you, when I buy five, to? you can have three. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going back to Mini. You're going back to Mini? Yeah. Look, the Barbayani blue for me is the premium yeah. Yeah. for me. That And then the green and anything Barbayani... Touches is the best. Tell us. The Nick's had a sip. Beautiful. That's the green, beautiful. I don't know, the mini. Oh, the mini, Ooh. yep. Something about it. Is that, it delicious? It, it, it's delicious. Who says that? De- Risto. Oh, it, it's delicious. De- delicious. Delicious. It must be I'm going to have some mini as well. 
I've got a new appreciation for me. Yeah. Here we go. Yamas. Yeah, Jeez. We try and, uh, what a, uh, so we can all agree that if you were Chris, Crystal, if, we that, if you went to a 35. bar and that was the ooze on the shelf, there's exact bottles, you're going to go for Baba Yanni. Yeah, Blue 100%. Green. 100%. Either or, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Look, you I'd know, even you get know. it to Plumati. Plumati, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's an emotional thing with us. First episode, we had a bottle of Plumati. No, look, I think it's... Objectively, it is a very good oh, standard it's quality. drink. That's quality. You can't yeah. go wrong with that one. It's you can't household. go wrong with Mini, it's, though. Yeah. It's, like, it's like if you're a whiskey drinker yeah. and someone brings you a bottle of uh, Shivers. Yeah. Nice. Shivers is your stock standard entry level yeah. scotch Blended, blended whiskey, blended, blended scotch whiskey, whiskey, single malt that you will never get aff- offended with. No, nah, it's blended whiskey. It's a blended whiskey, Shivers right? Blended, and you'll never, old. and you never get offended. It's like yeah. when you go to a Greek wedding, you have the Shivers, Shivers okay. Regal, twelve-year-old, or Black Label. Gonna, True. Yeah, yeah uh, you go Shivers. You go Shivers. But if you had Black Label, you wouldn't be. It, that, I think that's what Mini is. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. what. Um, See, I've moved from Money so, Walkers. So, so, yeah. so, so Mini, Mini for me was it was probably my fifth best. So when when I talk about yeah, flavors, it was, yeah. was up there. That that there, if you want yeah. something to linger on, that yeah. held, for me that held that memory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look with a meal. So with Blumati, went well. Blumati, no meal, no, having no, a so, chat with mates, so talking Blumati, to the mic there. So so Blumati, I can hear you, but the so Blumati <laughs> curved for me and gave me a <laughs> different experience. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's Evan. So, Evan, come here. It's all right. We're still recording, man. It doesn't matter. Uh, Evan, we're just, we're hey, just you making fun. Like hair. Go fix your hair, man. <laughs> What's this, is it half time yet? Yeah. All right. I reckon we should just wrap it up. Uh, hey, on. Hang on. I've got one more thing. All right. Let's so, go. Just, so, so, um, so the mid, uh, the mini. Yep. Was that straight line? Yep. We took the Blumati as the full curve. Yep. Where the um, Lazaros was a half curve for me. Mm. The half curve, the half curve comes back, and there's these flavors that just bounce around in mm. it. Yeah. That's that is yeah. the way I'm tasting this right now. Okay, very good, mate. You you got the palate. You might and, win and the palate the, award. He's more I, advanced than us. Then I, I can so. taste the citrus bouncing around. Yeah. Where, where, where you've got sweet and salt, mm. the salt bounces back. Yeah. With a blue money is just unique. Yeah. For that, like we talk about the mothball, I don't want to, uh, that is so I negative. Know, so, it, it does sound Call negative. The bowl effect. Effect. The bowl you, you know what? Bowl effect. Effect. The bowl effect. You know what some of the tasting notes are for Riesling? Diesel. Yeah. Is it really? Diesel is used as one of the petrol uh, tasting notes for, for Riesling. Well, it's alcohol. Okay, so if it's we come alcohol. up with if we come up with a cheat sheet for this, we're gonna have a bowl index. Yes. Baolo. <laughs> it's the Baolo effect. Come on, the Baolo, Baolo from one to ten. Uh, and, and, and the Baolo is is every every Greek that has in every immigrant Greek. So what did you call it? A Baolo. Smells. The smell, the palate, and the finish. Yeah. Nose. Okay. Nose. The nose. Sorry. The nose. It's got to be the Baolo. The effect. nose. The 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 no, The nose on the Babrayani wasn't too bad. It is. It is the. As soon as it hits the palate and the finish, it's that same Baolo taste. It's the same. Like I can't, I can't nail it. Look and, and look, I, I, c- cardamom. It could be that. It could be could what. Be it could be. It could be a Reduce a herb. <laughs> it could be a herb that they've actually put George in the there effect. that we can't. The George the Ambus, the anti, the, the anti. Yeah, the ooze. That's why he drinks before games, mate. And, that's and, why he can last eight games in a tournament. Yeah, but that's also twelve. Is it? It's got. It's got a lot it's got of Carmen, that. Yeah. It's got Carmen in it. Lots of it. So, <laughs> so just to conclude for me, yeah, uh, is that conclusion. is that? Let's put the stopwatch on. Yeah, I'll put the. Okay. So, how long? How long? You got ten minute. seconds. <laughs> so for me, the Barbayani, that taste is unique, and you cannot replace it, and it's, it will be everlasting. For the last hundred fifty years, it's been now. Yeah. It'll probably last forever. It's a good point. Great point. Well done. Good way to wrap it up. Gentlemen, we've been through a massive journey, uh, drenched in alcohol this evening. Thank you so much for being here. Stephen, Stavro, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, at this point, whatever you want to be Steve. called. <laughs> Steve. Uh, Steve. 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 Thank, thank you, Thoma, and thank you, Nico. <laughs> After 14 bottles, you can be anything you want. Exactly. exactly. Forti, thank you very much for being here, mate. Hey, guys, thank, thanks, thank for, you, thanks for having me. I'm, I'm glad after uh, 53 episodes... <laughs> Uh, you decided to invite me and Stavro back. 
<laughs> we'll bring you back again next season. Look, we're nearly at the three hour mark. So, guys, yeah, we got to wrap it up. Uzotalk at Outlook.com is the email. Follow us on social media at Uzotalk and at Uzo underscore talk on Instagram. Nikathanasiu, Fotipapulis, Stavros, Kazdigeris. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Well done, boy, this. Thank you, everyone. Ακολουθήστε μας στο Soundees, στο Spotify, στο Apple Podcasts και στο Google Podcasts.